Alright, now y'all should be able to hear me. Alright. There we go. Y'all can hear me now. Bet, 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 bet. Ooh, let me go back to... Instead of this... Yeah, do that one. Okay. We're gonna get something there eventually. Let me refresh the Brody. For some reason, they decided to pick that video, I guess. Oh, they're not going to let me refresh the Brody. They hate it. All right, bet. All right, so it is live stream. You are live. All right, bet one minute then. All right, cool. Oh, my boy, Josiah, first. What's happening, man? Appreciate you pulling up. What's good? Brody, that man, Josiah. That man, Josiah, um, just pulled up, Brody. What's good, Speedy? My boy Wolf, Del Monte, JC Clark, Brandon, Timothy, my boy Rich, <laughs> William. Ooh, I'm my ringtone on. My boy Craig, what's happening? Hail to the Redskins. Oh, what's happening, Smokes? What's good, man? What's good, Shane? How's your quarantine? I right, just been cooling it, man. Working on uh, working on Street Scores content, Xbox. Walking my dog. That's pretty much it, really. What's up? What's up, Teeth? Teeth of Cerberus. Cer oh boy, I'm struggling. Teeth of Cerberus. What's good, man? Morning, Rico. I need you to cut. What's good, Lee Burn? Lee Barnes. Hold up, I can put the cash up on in there. Hold on. It's lit. It's literally Rico. Let me make sure it's that. It's right. It's that right? I'm not bugging. I'm not bugging. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brody. Brody, how, how about you? Brody, bro, 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 bro. Bro, bro what do you want, man? Hey, what you want? All right, there we go. What's up, Rico? How's you? Oh, you already answered that. What a day. All right, Lee Barnes, I put it in there. I, I uh, wrote it in the chat. What's good, Jay-Z? Let me know when if you send anything so I can shout you out. Uh... Well, my boy Jay Z, my boy Chris Cross was good. Craig Lowry, Cam D. Thursday can't come fat, bro. I can't wait, man. Craig Lowry was good. Casper Hill, yo, was good. Hell to the Redskins draft day, so close. Oh, man, we right there. Are you gonna stream during the draft? Yes, sir. Yes, I will. I forgot it was Sunday. Yeah, I, it's been hard for me to keep up with days too. Honestly. <laughs> I respect that for sure. What's the chances you think we still Albert O in the third round since his draft since his draft stock dropped? I think he might make it even later than then. He might make it to the fourth, honestly. What's up, Rico? How do you like the storms this morning? What's good, Patrick West? Boy, it's been storming all day in Atlanta. Like, it's some of the worst thunder I've ever heard. It sounds like drum rolls. Weird. Like, it's not just bangs. It's like... I've... I can feel it. Sound like somebody just dropping several dresses at a time. Good looks on the shout out in the one video, bro. Oh yeah, yeah man. Appreciate y'all helping me, man. There's no point of giving us your game attack and you always appeal of long. <laughs> I haven't been on like super much though. Like like I usually have been anyway. But they yeah, they want me to appear offline though. Let me call Argo so he's in the chat. Alright, Speedy man. Yeah, let him know. What's up, Ruben Foster? Um, the last, well, first of all, what's up, sub to me, bro? But um, last time we heard Ruben Foster, you know, he was running. He has feeling back in his foot, but I mean, after tearing three different CLs, I think he tore like an ACL, MCL, LCL, something like that. He lost feeling in his foot, but he got the feeling back, and he's sprinting. You know, he just has to get back to football shape because that's different than you know sprinting every and living everyday life shape. April went by pretty quick. It did. It's kind of gone, gone by pretty quick. A lot of a lot of days feel the same because of quarantine and all of that. Um, Burton or Howard, or either even a person. But they already said that they're not pursuing Burton, the tight end from the Bears. They already said they're not pursuing him. Um, L.J. Howard. I don't know. I haven't heard anything connecting the Redskins to him yet. Exactly. At least I haven't. I haven't heard anything. How about Louisville's tackle? Oh, I love Makai Becton, but I doubt he makes it to us. Unless that failed, that one failed drug test he had at the combine, like, re like really scares teams away. 
Jags going for Cam. I hope so. That would be nice. I want I want Cam on somebody's team. Oh, okay. Oh, I ain't even had a thing ready, man. Appreciate that, Twin D. What's good, man? Appreciate that. Appreciate that, man. Real one. Real one. $10 to set it off. $10 to set it off. Just discovered you last month. Love the knowledge and info. First time I'm able to catch the live stream. Keep up your good work. Man, appreciate that, man. For real, for real. Yeah, it was rolling thunder. Yeah, it was yo, it was weird, bro. It's been thunderstorming all day in Atlanta. I'm glad just now I caught a little break and was able to take Brody out to pee. What's good, Lorenzo? What's good? He said, I said, hey, yo, you can put online sometimes at least. Bro, it's not me. It's them. They were like, bro, you got to appear offline. It is not me. I hate appearing offline. Why the Actually, matter of fact, the next time I get on, I'll make sure I appear online. I got you. But you haven't been joining the parties lately anyway. I wonder where Fournette is going to go. One of my friends said something about the Redskins inquiring about Fournette or something. I never could find anything. I looked all over Twitter and the internet. I don't know who his sources were, but uh, he said something. My Rams friend. What's good, Rico? Hope you're... What's good, Scotty? Glad you out there staying safe. And you're always online at night. I get your stream notifications. Yeah, I'm a, I'm always gonna stream if I'm on. But sometimes I even be like streaming and I don't even be like playing. I just turn I um turn on my stream and then just get back on my computer sometimes. That cash app did not pull hold up. Let me go look. Y'all gotta um let make sure y'all let me know whenever y'all do stuff like that. Cause for some reason I don't really notice notifications on my phone, especially like cash app and them. I don't know why. And no, it hasn't come up yet. Not that I've, I don't see it yet. It's not my notifications or anything. I'm on the cash app. Yet. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Oh, Demonte, man, appreciate that two dollars. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do we think we get a second for Trent? Um, the Redskins have come out and said that they um that they're willing to take later pick. Um, well. They'll, they'll, they prefer to take a second rounder or higher in 2021's draft than the force taking like a third or a fourth in this draft. So we might end up getting a second, but it may be for 2021 type of thing. We need Bakari Rambo bike second. Nah. <laughs> What's up, Christian Sorto? What's good? What's going on, Rico? And my legend friend. My, I mean, my four-legged friend. My fault. What's good, Franklin? Brody, Franklin said what's happening, man. Brody was just here. You're just bugging me. I'm mad we don't have a second round pick. Bro, it would be so lovely this draft to have one, man. My boy Argo is good. Boy Argo and Speedy pulled up. What's up, Brian Ingram? Mark Paul, appreciate you pulling back up. Yes, sir. Bro, you streaming the draft? Yes, sir. I am streaming the draft. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My phone didn't charge. Oh, my boy Argo, no. You streaming tomorrow? Um, I, I'm going to stream Tuesday. I'm going to live stream Tuesday. We're going to do a um, mock draft together, like how I did like a couple of months ago, where I, we're like picking, we're making the picks together type thing. Uh, I really wish they would have gave Adonis Alexander a fair shot. I think he could have been a beast. Yeah, that, that Adonis Alexander thing is pretty interesting. He was getting burnt at corner, but I don't think they ever truly gave him a chance at safety like that. Plus, I'm not so I'm not surprised. I, well, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody like Jack Del Rio doesn't come bring him back and give him another chance. Um, what's good, LC? Yes, sir. Well, I haven't I've been I've been on more than it probably seems like I have. I just been appearing offline. My friends is like you got you got a uh, what's it called? It everybody's like most of them are appearing offline. They want me to do the same so that when they Playing Call of Duty, they can focus and stuff like that. Because the parties haven't been as full lately. Like, we haven't even been running. They haven't, well, they haven't been running team up. You might be living in ATL, but like your mama says, you're from Maryland. <laughs> hey, man, y'all can claim me. I'll, you know, I'll take it. I like, I, I appreciate the love. Yes, sir. All right, so Redskins 8-8 eight and eight or better this year. Um, I'm one of those guys that's not putting too much into my, you know, expectations for the 2020 Redskins because Ron Rivera has clearly shown that he's um, – basically the team is about to start being great 2021 and beyond. 2020 is about to be a big audition for a lot of these players. I might have to go soon a second – I might have to go soon a second cut to the draft. I might have to go soon 
second cut to the but I'm confused about this sentence. So nigga. Haven't heard your thoughts on Kenny Stills. Heard his name mentioned recently. Um, he's pretty cool, but it's just the fact that we would have to give up something for him. If Kenny Stills was like a draftable player, then I I would, you know, definitely like him like in a mid round somewhere. But like having to give up a pick to go get him, I'm not a big fan. I'm trying to get more draft capital at this point. So I really don't want to give away draft capital. Especially for somebody that's not like great, in my opinion, type thing. Have you given draft get grades on each guy from last year's class? Um, did I do something on that? I know I have like mentally. <laughs> um, did I ever do a video on that? Man, I cannot remember if I did a video on that. You might have got me with that. Like I genuinely don't remember if I did. I definitely will for this class though. I mean, after after the draft, I'm gonna do my draft grades and analysis and explanation. And then, like, later on down the line throughout the offseason, I'm going to do, like, real film sessions for everybody that we pick, just like I did back in the uh, 2018 draft class. Um, you think you'd be down to do collab work with my boy Ed Oliver? Maybe guest appearance channel. He pops up in your channel and talks Redskin football. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely down. I'm definitely down. We talk occasionally on Twitter and stuff. My boy Ed Oliver really be putting in work, man. I super respect him. It's, he's he seemed kind of like the Adam Schefter of like Redskins Nation in a way. Like he's always like super first. I have a gut feeling that we will have a second round selection, but it'll be nice, bro. I really hope so, man. My boy Zulu Tribe. Oh Joseph, what's good? I almost didn't say what's up to you. Just a joke, but what if Bengals took Chase Young? I'd be sick. I'd be that exact emoji. Yeah, I see him more as a safety than corner. Yeah, I agree. I hope we get Jason Peters. I do too. I just hope Jason Peters isn't super expensive. I would love Jason Peters, but if he's out here, you know, asking for too much money, I just don't know. Rico, what do you think of Winfield Jr.? I think he is the second best defensive player in the draft. I would trade Trent to the team and draft Winfield. Uh, that's why Winfield is nice. I do like him. And what's up, B9 Nizzle? Is that how I say it? B9 Nizzle? I hope so. I do like Antoine Winfield, though. On, but I haven't super duper gone in depth in his film just off of the fact that I just stopped hurting myself with like a lot of those first to third round guys. Like I know of them. I watched a little bit of tape, but I haven't just sat down and just strictly watched his film for like two hours straight type of thing. Like I did for a lot of prospects like Adam Trotman and guys that might go later like Chase Claypool, all that type of stuff. So I know I know Antoine Winfield Jr. is like really good, but I haven't like super dedicated to nitpicking everything he does right and wrong type thing yet because i mean i already know we're taking chase young second overall and then we don't pick again to the third so i just was like i don't even want to get attached to too many people i checked them out of course i watched a little bit of something but i didn't just like super duper dive in trip for second on draft night or player picks hey man appreciate that scotty appreciate that scotty yes sir yes sir Thank you, thank you, thank you. Big five, big five, man. Appreciate that, man. Consistently pulling up and donating. My boy. Trent for second on draft night or player plus picks? I go. I prefer second. I prefer to just go ahead and get a second if we can get it. I really want Jalen Ramsey. But Jalen Ramsey would be so nice. Man, I meant to say I might have to leave soon and cut the oh the grass. Oh, okay. Dang, I'm going to have to cut grass within like the next week. I'm sad about that. Why would you remind me? Yeah, I really hope Trent gets traded during the draft. But that would be clutch, especially for a second or higher. Me and Speedy got heated because I said two is better than Haskins. <laughs> why, why did y'all have that debate? Why? I love all my Redskins family. Hell to the Redskins. Light, let's go. National defense is back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We about to be there, man. One step closer to being great with Chase Young, man. All we got to do is just take them. Secure the bag. Don't overthink it. It's that simple. Uh, Chase Young. Yes, sir. What's up, Leslie? What's good? What's good? No one cares about Tua. He's going to shatter his hip again by year two and be done. Yeah, a lot of exec, a lot of NFL executives, it's been, it's been reported that uh, some of them might even prefer just, Justin Herbert over Tua, just off of the, you know what Justin Herbert is going to give you. Diggs is truly 100% healthy. Might be a gamble worth it. He knocked almost a tenth off of a of his 40 between October and now. Wait, really? You talking about Trevon? 
You talking about Stefan or the or the corner? And what's good, Derek JB, my boy, my boy? Team Haskins. Oh, of course, Team Haskins. Yes, sir. Yeah, Ed is nice with the analytics. Been following him for a while now. Yeah, man, Redskins Nation has a lot of good guys out here putting in work, man. Would you be opposed to drafting a running back? AP not going to be here forever, and guys, who knows? I'm a big fan of A.J. Dillon. Um, if we do, I would prefer to wait till really late, like round six or seven, just off of the fact, just off of the fact that I feel like we can always still address wide receiver, tight end. Uh, you can never really have too many offensive linemen, especially with our current situation and how much they get hurt. Um, let me see, safety. You know, never. Why not bring in somebody to compete with Sean Davis? So. Uh, so if we do go running back, I prefer to just because I mean we are first of all we already have too many that we signed because even if Darius Geis and Bryce Love get hurt, it would still be Adrian Peterson, Peyton Barber, and J.D. McKissick, and I actually really like that running back group. So um, I prefer to wait till twenty twenty one draft to see how Bryce Love and uh, Darius Geis are doing. Argo Haskins is way better than man. Let them know, Speedy. We need to obtain Jalen Ramsey next year. That would oh man. Any little Brody around? Yeah, Brody's somewhere in here. I don't know where that man went. He's not near me. But he's somewhere in this room. My door is closed. He's in here somewhere. He can't go anywhere. Chase Young, whomever we get with all our other draft picks are a bonus. <laughs> yeah, basically. Hell to the Redskins. Well, uh, yes, sir. If the Bengals take Chase Young, we're going to Ohio to find an owner of the team. We're going to jump him. Yeah, man. Yeah, he got to see us, man. After all of this... I mean, it looks like it's like a it's more of a shirt thing. They're taking Burrow than us taking Chase Young. So, if they for some reason take Chase Young, I'm assuming they clicked the wrong button in the little you know draft mechanics they have going this year with the virtual draft. What's up, being made a goat? What's good? Hypothetically, I know you on Chase Young. I am as well. But would you trade the pick for OBJ? Browns looking to trade what I heard. I know it's an option. Nah, I'm good. I'm still Chase Young. But I've heard that OBJ is possibly can go for a second and a fifth round pick. I don't know what's going on, but that's what I've heard. I've heard the Vikings may be able to get them for a second and a fifth. But that those are rumors though. But they they're rumors from like, you know, credible sources, but you know, nothing's gained any real traction. There's no real concrete proof yet, but you know what I'm saying? Um I've heard he's going for a second and a fifth from the Vikings. Like they 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 were they were talking a little something something. My boy, Big Simple 422. Yes, sir, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to my boy. That man be putting in work for Redskins Nation. Love his reaction. Just made a video on Scary Terry. I hit that like and shit. Yes, sir, man. Y'all go check out my boy, Big Simple, man. Definitely talk your stuff in here, man. I don't mind it. I don't mind y'all plug y'all stuff in here. As long as you're Redskins Nation, though. Aunt B, what's good? What's up? What you think about getting OJ Howard for Trent Williams and maybe a third round pick? I'm down to do that. I'm down. Because, I mean,. There's a lot of talk that we may settle for like a third or two thirds or four. I would definitely take OJ Howard in a third over just like a two thirds or whatever the combination of random stuff. I would love a second, but OJ Howard potential is crazy. And I, I still haven't gone to watch film on OJ Howard to see why he hasn't just become the Gronk that people projected him to be or the Travis Kelsey. But um, I I love his potential, so I would I would definitely do that. You think that if we already had Chase Young in some draft previous, and you needed a QB, who are you picking? Tua or Haskins? I think they still would just stick with Haskins and take the best tackle available or something. Maybe trade down. If we already had Chase Young last year, I'm almost sure they would just go ahead and trade down this year and take Isaiah Simmons and whatever other players they can get. Just off, just mainly off the fact that Tua is just constantly. I mean, like nobody trusts Tua. Nobody believes in Tua to be healthy long term. True, I'd rather have Chase Young and Sweat than their pick, so I'm not mad at all about not having a second throw. Yeah, yeah, I'm not mad at it at all, bro, because, yes. Mine says Sweat is about to be crazy. Next year's Redskins prediction, I'm going 6-10, and 10, honestly. I'm, I'm more humble just off the fact, like I said earlier, I believe Ron Rivera is literally looking at 2021 and beyond. 2020 is about to be a big train, training camp. That's the best way to put it. This is about to be a bunch of competition, different rotation of players. Let's start this guy this week. Let's start this other guy next week type of thing. They about to really see who wants to be on this team 2021 and beyond when we're ready to really, really take over the NFC East. But it also, with the talent we already have, plus Chase Young, um, plus some of the guys we picked up from free agency, plus way better coaching than we've 
had in a long time. We may, you know, surprise people and end up making the playoffs. I wouldn't be surprised because we've always just been good coaching away. It's never been just a true lack of talent. So we'll see, though. Cover corner in Alabama. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. My boy Trevon Diggs. Yeah, I like Trevon Diggs. We would have to trade down to be able to get him, and I still prefer Chase Young. But Trevon is, yeah, Trevon is crazy. Three late nights for me from Thursday. One started in this chase. I can't wait for the draft. Man, man, Scotty, man. I need them to go ahead and make that pick now. I need them to go ahead and publicly say we're taking Chase Young today, right now, please. So I can just get this stress off of me, man. I think Jordan Love will he be will be higher pick than people think. Oh yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because at first Pat Mahomes, people were looking at the the Chiefs crazy for trading up to get Pat Mahomes when they first did it. A lot of people were like, "Who?" I already knew who he was, and I knew he was you know super high ceiling guy. It just depends on where he goes type of thing. That's what I thought. Now it looks like it doesn't matter where he would have gone. He would have still been the greatest quarterback in the league possibly. But during the during the draft process, nobody expected Pat Mahomes to go when he went. And then the Chiefs traded up to get him, and everybody was like, okay, that was weird. And now now look at him. What's up, NV Plays? What's good? 9-7. Speedy. Yeah, yeah, I like that 9-7. Somewhere in that range maybe. I'm saying I'm I'm just going with six and ten just off the fact that we're too talented to just completely tank, especially with the coaching we're gonna have. But at the same time, it looks like we're clearly not trying to win this next year. It's more about building towards 2021 and beyond than 2020, which I'm a fan of. This I prefer I prefer the route that's gonna get us to the Super Bowl quicker than the route that's gonna get us to the playoffs quicker. And if that means not, you know, winning a lot of games in 2020, then so be it, man. Tua is not better than Haskins. A wise man once said, "You can't make that, make the club, make the club in the tub." <laughs> I've never heard that before. I like that. Bryce Love gonna get in, get in, put in, put work in, bro. Yeah, Bryce Love's about to be crazy, man. For real, I'm super excited about him. People keep forgetting he was better than Christian McCaffrey at the. They went to the same school. And he was better at Stanford than Christian McCaffrey was. So we'll see how he does in the NFL if he recovers from his injury all the way. But we'll see. What's up, Raekwon? Appreciate you pulling back up. Uh, you should do a stream yard draft party. Let some of your fans talk to you. Oh, yeah, I'm about to um, I, I have, I'm about to set it up to where y'all can call in today. But I'm going to see about possibly let, um, people calling in while we're doing the live mock draft together on Tuesday. And, Brody, I don't know what you want. Exactly, a running back group, fine until 2021. I agree, Brody Puppies. What do you think about Kyle Duggar in the third? I do like, I prefer uh, Jeremy Chin personally, but I would love Kyle Duggar also. And that boy, D.D. Doily, that, be, that man been here for forever. What's good? Um, Can't wait to watch Bryce Love. Hope he pops off. Man, his potential is crazy at running back. And Brody, what do you want, man? Let's see. Um, wait, what did I miss? Hold on, hold on. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I missed quite a bit. What's going on? Hey, bro, what are you doing? What, what do you want? Yo, I'm this far behind already? Stop spamming Argo to a suck. Yeah, okay, Bryce Love is going to be fun to watch in the burgundy and go. I mean, I can't wait. What's good? Uh, what's good, Theo? Keep up the good work and content. What wide receiver do you think we should take in this draft? Um, for, I, I really, really like a, a lot of receivers. I, if we could somehow get Chase Claypool maybe in the third, somehow, I'm definitely down. Um, I do like Antonio Gandy-Golden like I had on my mock draft. And like I said, Lawrence Cager is a big sleeper. If We can probably get him as an undrafted free agent. Um, there's a lot of receivers out there that I really like. It's just whether or not they'll make it to the third round. That's the only problem. Because I'm hearing Denzel Mims might even go top 20 in the first round now. There's a lot of teams that like him. I can't wait to see Bryce Love, man. Same here, Sam. Can Tampa work out the money for Trent? I don't know. I, I do not know what their cap space situation is, honestly. And what's up, Mark Zab? I'm oh, my boy Merle. We need a weekly Redskins live stream. Oh, yeah, of course. Every, every The whole offseason. And then when the regular season comes, I'm streaming every week because they're game because there's games. Yes, sir. But I will be streaming Tuesday. We're gonna do a mock draft together. 
Even if it's only 10 of us, we're going to do our own little mock draft together. Now, I'd rather get a nice corner in the draft. There's definitely a bunch of good corners in the draft. Yeah, there should be some pretty good corners. It's not as deep as the wide receiver class, but there are some really good corners out there, especially potential-wise. Two is damaged goods. I agree. And hopefully Ruben Foster, bro. I can't wait for Ruben Foster. My boy Nigel pulled up. Yes, sir. Haskins getting traded. I doubt it. Rico, can I get a corona test for Kerrigan, please? <laughs> That's so random. Try to send the cash. Hope you got it. Hold on, let me look because I, like I said, I don't really see that stuff. Um, It doesn't say I got anything. Cause my name is yeah, my name is Rico Scores. It doesn't say I got anything, Lee Bonds. I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on. It's popping big. What's good, Montez Fowler? It's your boy Montez from South Central Los Angeles. Yes, sir. Give me two of your sleeper wide receivers that we could possibly pick up late in the draft. My votes are still Antonio Gandy Golden and Lawrence Cager, like I had in the, uh in my mod draft. Love those two guys. Um, let me think of who else we might. I mean, there's still KJ Hill out there. You never know, man. He's a similar story to Terry McLaurin, except for he didn't run as fast in the combine. I mean, an entire point three seconds slower. Um, Terry McLaurin ran a 4.3 something. KJ Hill ran a 4.6 something. But other than that, um, he looks a lot like Terry McLaurin. But speed is a big part. So that's why I'm, I feel like KJ Hill will make it very deep into the draft. You might be able to get him with like a sixth round pick. We'll see, though. Uh, What's good, Mark Paul? Man, I appreciate that $2. Yes, sir. You didn't even have a message to say. That man just wanted to donate. Man, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm going 9 to 6. Yeah, I'm a 9 to 7. Yeah, I def I can see that range definitely happening, though. 9 to 7. I've been waiting forever to watch Foster before he even got hurt. I was sick of waiting. <laughs> yeah, man. The only corona I have are the bears. The other beers. <laughs> Hold on, don't we have two extra games this year? Oh, not yet, not yet. They're not doing that yet. They have the extra playoff game in 2020. I don't think the 17-game season starts until 2021. Howard in the fourth with Trent will be okay with me. We need the drama gun. I wish Trent wanted to be here. He is a great left tackle. That is very true. It would be nice if he was here. But um, I, w I would still pref I prefer a second by itself than Howard in a fourth, me personally. Um... 2K is so fun. I've been on it all week. Bro, I just don't. I do not rock with 2K. They love 2K. They're on my team all day, every day. That's literally what they play all the time. I just don't like 2 I'm, I think I'm the only one that does it. Me and Courtney are like the only people that's just like, why are y'all playing that game? I want to go into the future Thursday and then see Chase get picked because I can't wait anymore. But Speedy, bro, it's, I'm stressed over here. I feel like Chase probably already knows. I wonder if Dan told him. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if. Dan already told him we got you. I mean, he met with them at the combine in person. That man flew all the way to Indianapolis to meet with Chase Young. That's got to mean something. I would trade Trent in a fifth for OBJ if we already had a tight end. That's a good boy. What's up, Herb? That's kind of good. I kind of see what you're saying there. If we already had a really good tight end, just go ahead and trade Trent in a fifth for OBJ. I couldn't be mad at that. OBJ is still a great wide receiver. Actually, I kind of like that deal. I don't know how you – yeah, I, bro, I do not like 2K, Rich. I can't do it. It's, they love it. They're on my team all day, every day. That man, Lyric, just got uh, Galaxy Opal Shack like four days ago and got uh, the the Galaxy Opal Turgaloo like yesterday or whatever it came out. He got it immediately. The boy Z just got Galaxy Opal T-Mac out of pack, out of a drop. It's one of those. Um, Ed is the man because he talks skins and wizards. Street score is no one skins talk. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, I just don't, I don't even really watch basketball like that. And if I do, I only really watch Westbrook. I went from AI to Gilbert Arenas to Westbrook. After Westbrook retires, I don't know if I don't find another player, I'm going to literally almost have no reason to watch basketball. But I just love football. Like, I prefer to watch the, the Bills versus the Browns than to watch, like, the Lakers versus the Clippers. I'm just not a real big fan of basketball watching. I love playing basketball. That's one of the first things I'm doing as soon as we get out of quarantine. Well, not as soon as, because I'm not about to be one of those first wave of people to go outside when they say it's okay. I'm waiting. I'm going to need y'all to go be test dummies out there for me. But whenever I finally go outside and, you know, and I'm active again, I'm definitely, I got to play basketball. I miss playing basketball so much. Simulate the Thursday. LC, we lit. Yes, sir. I want to sweep the Eagles. Yes, please. Mahomes or Lamar. Rico like his to get a backup edge rusher like Terrell Lewis from Alabama. 
He is fine. I'm not sure what round he'll make it to, though. Because I know third round pick, I definitely don't think we should go that. I don't think we should go edge rusher. Um, let me see. Okay. I'm not as far behind as I thought. Um, without defense, I got to still win in more games. I have us competing for division. Y'all wouldn't be surprised. And Christian Foot and CJ Henderson, I go, I vote CJ Henderson. CJ Henderson, I love him. Even though he's a Florida guy, you know what I'm saying? That's the team I hate the most in college. That man, CJ Henderson, is a real one. I respect him. I definitely like CJ Henderson. Like, he's my second favorite corner. It's Jeffrey Akuda and then him. Now, there's a gap between those two, but still... CJ Henderson, CJ Henderson is my second favorite corner in this draft. Jeffrey Kuda isn't even fair. I mean, that, that's everybody's favorite corner. Eagles would be mad we get Jamar Chase, then McLaurin going off on 6 10 records you gave us. <laughs> Our division sucks, though. All eight are winnable Lions, Bengals, so at least 6 or 7, I think, bar an injury. Why do I feel like we had a best running back group in the league? Well, potential-wise, our running back group is insane. It's just whether or not they can stay healthy and it actually matter. Why do I feel – okay, I just said that. 10-5-1. Oh, you're saying 10 wins, 5 losses, 1, one uh, tie. That's really interesting, but big simple. I understand your prediction, but I think we will win the division because the division is so bad. Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if we um, outperform my uh, prediction – I wouldn't be surprised at all because the talent's always been there. We've literally just been good coaching away from being great. And then you're just adding Chase Young. But, you know what I'm saying, I just feel like they're not really trying to win. Like, winning is not the most important. I feel like Ron Rivera is going to take all kinds of risks. Like, fourth and eight uh, and just, just, going, just going for random fourth downs for no reason. Or just doing random crazy stuff on defense. Just trying a bunch of stuff out type of thing. Stream later on Tuesday because people like me have online school or work. All right, bet, bet, bet. I got you, Rich. Appreciate you saying that. I guess we could stream later. I'm going to figure something out by then. But, like, I'll definitely post it, like, on YouTube. But try to send out a notification. I'll schedule the stream. We could do it at, like, 7 maybe. AP is getting a golden jacket. Oh, yeah, of course. As long as we look like a real football team this year, I'll be happy. We aren't a one-year fix, but we would be a solid team. I definitely agree on that. People are going to hate the players. Whether we win a lot of games or not, people are going to hate the players no matter what. I'll go AD, isn't he got a... I'll go AD, isn't he got a draft card? Wait, what? Hey, Rico, are you going to do a, do a film this season? Do Oh, yeah, 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 I got you. Every draft pick, I'm going to do film. I just ended up being really oddly busy last time. Last uh, off season, so I wasn't able to do it. But this off season, I got y'all with the film sessions. Five more days, ready to find out already, man. Yes, sir. The season after the upcoming season, Redskins roar to as a Dolphin, but more likely a Patriot. For what it's worth, he's not that hurt. Trust me. Yeah, I mean, I mean if he ends up working out, he's gonna be a great quarterback. I'm just scared of the injury history. I'm like really afraid. Um, I like Claiborne, Pittman, Gandy, Golden the most. Your Chase, your Oh, Brody, 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 Brody. Michael Pittman is crazy too. And I do, yeah, Gandy Golden is crazy too. If, if Gandy Golden was more athletic, he would be like one of the top five receivers maybe. Do you see Cam Sims making the team this year? Um, I would hope so, man. He has so much potential. I would love for them to bring him back. Whether they, whether they will or not is a whole different story because I have no idea. I don't even know if Ron Rivera knows he exists type of thing. I mean, he said he watched a lot of the film that we put up, especially those last few games when Dwayne Haskins was starting. So maybe he saw that one Cam Sims catch, I think, against the Giants. But, um, cool, boy. I, I hope. I would like to see Cam Sims come back. And, Brody, I would like to know why you are here right now. He's so adorable, though. Uh, I am half and half on Trent Williams. I want him to stay, but I want to trade him as well. I don't know. What's up, Beast Mode? Yeah, it's, a really, it's really difficult to figure out, man. I mean, at this point, if he really, really doesn't want to play, I say trade him. But it would still be nice to have him. What time Tuesday for the mock draft? So I'm th I haven't figured something out yet. Now that Rich said, you know, people do have class. Like a lot of my cousins and my friends, they uh, they had they start their day off in virtual class. So I know all about that. So I probably might do it like at seven or something. We'll see though. What's up, Emmy? Right? And what's up, Rashad? John Shaw was good. 
How many sacks you see Chase getting? I'm gonna say twelve point five. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go somewhere around there. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up getting like fourteen though. Wouldn't be surprised at all. Who starts on our D line this year? Um, I think they're gonna use a heavy rotation. So who's starting really is not gonna matter that much. But I definitely feel like if you had to say who's gonna normally get the snap, the first snap of every game, I think it's gonna be Montez Sweat, Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, and Chase Young. But I feel like Matt Ioannidis is going to be utilized more now with Jack Del Rio and Ron Rivera than he was with Greg Minuski. I'm pretty sure like Matt Ioannidis is going to pretty much have almost the same amount of snaps as Jonathan Allen and Deron Payne. Draft party with me and my friends. Okay, okay. Can't wait till Thursday. What's good, Andre Walker? Jefferson, what's good? Yes, sir, Chase Young. I hope we can give um, Kager a free agent invite to camp. He's a, he a local guy. Yeah, bro, please. If we can bring him in, if we can bring him in as an undrafted free agent, that would be crazy. What's up, Inspector Gadget? For all brothers, Louis T. Rico and Oliver keep doing thing for our Redskins. Oh yes, sir. We on it. We on it. Yes, sir. I, I like. I used to love that Inspector Gadget cartoon, man. Let's see, man. I hope we have a good draft all the way through. Trent needs to go. He's bringing bad vibes to the team. Yeah, he is a distraction. What wide receiver do you think we're gonna end up picking? Um. Like, I, we might go with one of those later guys, like an Antonio Gandy-Golden in, like, the fourth round or something. One of those later, later guys. I doubt we're able to get, like, a Chase Claypool or any of them guys. I just, I don't think he's going to make it out the second round. Yeah, I prefer Jeremy Chen also, and we got him in Isaiah Simmons. I would not be that mad not getting Chase. I would still be sad, but that isn't, like, a bad alternative. But I would be sad. Uh, it's, for me, it's Chase Young a bust at this point, honestly. Yo, Rico, which wide receiver do you see my Niners taking at 13? Um, I feel like if y'all can, if CeeDee Lamb somehow makes it there, which I doubt, um, for me, I would vote CeeDee Lamb. If it was up to me, CeeDee Lamb is my favorite receiver in this draft class. Jerry Judy and Henry Ruggs are also great, but I'm a CeeDee Lamb guy. So if yo if some somehow if somehow he makes it to that 49ers pick, but I'm pretty sure if any of those three guys or Denzel Mims um make it to y'all, y'all gonna take one of y'all are gonna take one of those. Who do you like better, AJ Green or Lamar Jackson? Um, um, I might be I might be on the Lamar Jackson side, maybe, maybe, but it's not like a huge gap. What's your number one Redskins player right now? Maybe all time as well. Um, right now, I love the idea of Jimmy Moreland. I'm also vi I'm super. I can't wait to see Chase Young playing. Of course, I love Dwayne Haskins and Terry McLaurin, and I love Darius Geis and Bryce Love. I don't know if I had to really pick a guy that I'm really excited about. It's probably Jimmy Moreland, mostly because of his personality. He's like the PR garçon of defense. Like he's always talking in people's faces and stuff like that. I love that so. Um, he's one of the people I, I really, really want to end up being really good. And all-time, Daryl Green. I mean, Sean Taylor, of course, definitely in my top three. But Daryl Green, uh, I used to love Stephen Davis because of video games. Back when uh, 2K still made NFL games, Stephen Davis was a cheat code. But, of course, I love Sean Taylor and Daryl Green. Those are my guys. It's hard for me to pick, like, one, though, for real, for real. How would you feel if Redskins surprise everybody and select Isaiah Simmons? I'll be a little sad, but Isaiah Simmons is really good. Like, really, really good. He's going to be great. But I would anything with Chase Young, I'm going to be a little bit hurt. I'm not going to lie. But what's up, Daniel? Kanisha Christina Latosha, it's on. Wait, who? Who's that? Yeah, that's a big difference in speed. A lot more people on this earth run a 4-6 versus 4-3. Yeah, that's very true. Every team on the Redskins, Von Miller test was... Was COVID nineteen? Wait, um, wait, what? What do you mean by that, Argo? I'm lost. Well, right now, McLaurin all time. Wow, um, Charlie Taylor. The Charlie Taylor was a beast. Rico, how's Ruben Foster coming along with his rehab? But we haven't, um, Ruben, um, what's it called? It. Ron Rivera hasn't really, really like kept tabs on him like, like that. He said last time he heard Ruben Foster was running and they were in the middle of their rehab and stuff like that, but. Um, nobody's like really reporting on Ruben Foster. I guess, I guess he's not making enough significant pro progress for people to really talk about him constantly, but I don't know. Last time I heard he was, he was full sprints. He was on a treadmill running like all the way. Like he has feeling back in his foot and everything. And I don't know what's going on with Brody today. Why are you being a baby? Huh? What happened? Hmm. 
What's up, Montez Fowler, man? Appreciate that. Big three dollars. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Appreciate that. You appreciate that. And Brody. St um, Stefan was good. Yo, Rico, big fan of your videos, man. Keep it up, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Hell to the Redskins. Hit hit the like if you forgot, man. Appreciate that, LC. Redskins defense top five this year. I really believe in it. We keep saying that, but with Chase Young plus Jack Darrell and Ron Rivera, I actually really, really believe it's gonna happen. Um, uh, let me see, machine, 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 machine. I am pretty far behind. Let me get to the guys that donated and then come back up. Uh, my boy Chris Buford with the five. Yes, sir. Rico, been a while to pull up and check in, stop the stream, and take Brody for a walk. <laughs> I already took him out earlier. I'm going to take him out for a walk later. But it's thunderstorming, so I got to hope it's good enough. And drive chase at all costs. I agree, man. Appreciate that $5. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Uh, let me get to the next up. My boy James Dean with the two. Do we lose out with moving on from Trent? Um, What you mean, like tanking? I wouldn't be surprised. I, well, I don't think we'll ever tank. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if we only win like five or six games. Especially if we end up taking like the best tackle in next year's draft. That guy, uh, I think Oregon. He can't remember his name. Um, do we lose out? When, but or are you saying do we lose out? Like are we gonna end up not getting as much value back when we give them away? I don't know. I hope I hope they hold out and make sure they don't you know fold and just take anything anybody's willing to take um you know give up on type of thing. I say wait it out and wait for the best value, even if you have to get a pick from twenty twenty one. Um, what's up, dude? Second pick with the Redskins select Chase Young. What's up, Peyton the Great? Yes, sir. Chase Young. What's up, the Phenom? If you guys select Chase Young, that defense kind of huge turnaround like the 49ers defense. I agree. Appreciate that. Galaxy Opal Shack, they are tryhards and no, oh, bro. You think they playing about my team? They on there right now. I'm pretty sure if I check my phone, they're online right now. How does your draft board change if Bengals take Chase Young? Oh, it's trade back immediately. But I just highly doubt that happens. Like, that's like less than a 1% chance. What's up, 3 one Twan? The only time I watch basketball all is either a big game or the playoffs. Yeah, same here, basically. Or I might try to watch Westbrook because Westbrook's hilarious. Um, Unrelated. Maryland Terps got some fire jerseys, but good grief. I wish they were good. <laughs> yeah, the Terps, I love the Maryland flag every time they use it on stuff. Not even just for the Maryland Terps. That Maryland flag is hard. I'm not going to lie. That Maryland flag is crazy when they use it on, especially when they use it right. Yeah, it would be. But they have talent. The Terps never win, like, as a team. But the Maryland Terps always have some type of talent, some, like, great talent that ends up going to the NFL and being pretty good. Because you're, I mean, the safety last year that went to Greenback, I can't remember his name, but he's good. You know, Stephon, all of them. Trent Williams to the Browns for a second round. I would love that. What's up, Sanaya Isaac? What's good? We really Got to get our secondary to another level after this season. We we make our secondary lead. We could be – wait, what just happened? Oh, there we go. We can be number one all year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That secondary becomes elite. It's over with. I have a 5 and 11. Yeah, see, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up going somewhere around 5 and 11. We're better than the Giants. I agree, but, you know, I feel like the Giants care more about winning now than we do. That's the only thing. So, 2020 – they might end up with a better record than us, maybe, but I feel like over time, Ron Rivera has clearly shown that he's 2021 20, and beyond. What's up, Yumi Yahoo? Appreciate you pulling back up. I feel like anyone can win this division. Yeah, that's very true. Hey, Rico, you should do a top 50 prospects board. Oh, that might be interesting. I might do that. Let me see if I can try to squeeze that in before we uh, I do the Tuesday live stream. Giants offensive line, our defensive line, even with Chase I hate him. <laughs> the Bruce Allen account. What's up, X tier X? What's good? Terry the Terminator and Chase the Predator. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're about to have some perennial pro bowlers over there. Both sides of the ball. Low injuries and the right picks. We shouldn't be below top five on defense. I agree. What's good, bro? I think Jeffrey Akuda a little overrated. I think he played behind three great pass rushes and a great defensive line. Please tell me you checked out that Bostic tape. What's up, Frederick Jordan? And now I haven't super gotten to John Bostic yet. I've been so draft heavy lately. So I, you know, once we get like deeper into the offseason when I'm reviewing like the entire team, like who we already have and stuff, then I got you. But um, no, I like Jeffrey Akuda a lot. I've heard even from Ohio State fans that he's uh 
pretty overrated, but I I like Jeffrey Akuda a lot. Now he's just you know him being instantly as good as Jalen Ramsey is a little bit of like a I'm not gonna necessarily say a reach, but you know park your brakes, we'll wait and see. But I think Jeffrey Akuda is gonna be really really good. I mean the fact that he didn't have a single holding or pass interference penalty all year uh, speaks a lot to me personally. Somebody that's you know that productive and and, and you know consistent, I love that. TMS Mill Watts, it was good, man. Appreciate you pulling up. We always do well when this turn. We always do well when this turn on NFL. Who won the Super Bowl is gonna lock out, lock out yet? We always do well when this turn on NFL. Won the Super Bowl. Oh yeah, when they had the lockout, we ended up winning. Anytime the NFL is confused, the Redskins step up and end up being great. <laughs> that Ohio State pass rush definitely helps, but he's the real deal. Yeah, I agree. What's up, Giovanni? What's good, man? Hey Rico boy, Chase Young signed the Under Armour. He know he was gonna. Wait, Chase Young has already signed the Under Armour that fast? Dang, I didn't even know that. Rico, that's new. That's new to me. That's crazy. Appreciate you saying that, Rico. If we didn't take Chase Young. How would you? T- Bro, I'd be sick. I'm not gonna lie. I love Isaiah Simmons, but I would be sick. I would take Alex Smith before Haskins. That's a troll. Darnell Williams, what's good? Four man draft party. You a Y got here, big simple. That would be nice, man. That would be nice. But I I talk too much. That's the main reason I feel like I have to definitely do something on my own. Cause I'm gonna be I'm gonna be analyzing every single pick. Like I'm talking about everybody. This live stream is not just for Redskins fans. You know, of course when we take Chase Young and I said when, not if, I'm gonna be all excited and everything and can't wait, but you know, every pick I'm moving on. I'm talking about every pick that happens. When somebody's on the clock, I'm gonna talk about who they should pick and why. When they take somebody, I'm gonna explain why that's a good move or a bad move. So I'm gonna be constantly talking. So I don't think it would be good for me to like live stream with other people during the draft because I I go crazy during the draft. I'm talking the whole time. Like right now, how I'm reading through y'all stuff. That's I'm gonna be talking this much, but it's gonna be about the draft. And I'm gonna try to keep up with y'all in the comments, but. It's going to be really hard because I'm going to be super talking draft stuff. I'm going to have all my notes up, all of my um, film session notes up, all of that type of stuff. The Redskins will have a lot of cap space in 2021, and I believe we will throw a lot of money at Jalen Ramsey. I talked about that in a random video, bro. Getting Jalen Ramsey is a real possibility. Also, David Vaktari from uh, the Packers, left tackle, probably could go get him. We're going to have, like, crazy cap space. Like, literally, we're projected to have top three. Bro, everyone's sleeping on Isaiah Hodgins. He liked that. I haven't super duper watched Isaiah Hodgins like that, but I have heard that he's pretty good. And the, the little bit I've seen from him, I like him. But um, I haven't seen enough to declare whether I love him or hate him. And what's up, Delonte? first of all? Poor man's Julio Jones. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ever watch Anthony McFarlane Jr. out of Maryland? He's crazy fast and strong. Watched him run all over Ohio State a few years back. Um, I didn't watch him a lot. I know of him. A little bit, but yeah, I don't have not enough to like you know give a real honest opinion on. Them. I'm a Georgia fan, so I'm you know I'm in the SEC usually. I try to catch Maryland games if I can, but it's so much stuff going on in the SEC. I'm always watching the other teams like Florida, Alabama, LSU, and them, um, Mississippi State, all of those guys just just off of um in Missouri, everybody just off of um. Just competition, just scouting and stuff. I just like watching SEC football. Uh, we would try for OJ Howard. Will we try for OJ Howard? I'm not sure. I haven't heard us link to him yet. It's been his name has been buzzing, but I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen the Redskins name linked to him yet. Me personally, the best people that played for Washington were named Josh. That's so annoying. Josh Doxson and Josh Norman. That's such a troll. <laughs> What's up, Kendrick McMichael? What's good, man? We're going to keep doing your thing, fam. I'm very impressed with your knowledge. I just wish you press the envelope and force these fans to think. Keep growing, young man. You have a bright future. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. What, what is up, Eric S.? What about Trey Burton? Worth it? Uh, the Redskins already said they're not going to pursue Trey Burton. They believe he's too injury prone. Trent Williams to the Browns. I wouldn't be surprised, man. Give us a second. Pick a higher. I'm down. I am hoping Dan Snyder does not interfere with the draft. Uh, yeah, I doubt it. I think I think Ron Rivera and Kyle Smith are pretty much gonna handle this. Hey Rico, mama, yadacito, I chase young, yariba, yariba, hail to the Redskins, some CD, Rio Bravo, Thompson, Mexico, Mexico. What's good, Rogelio? Man, appreciate you pulling back up. 
I la 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 bamba. I forgot all about that. I remember that when I was live streaming during the regular season. Do you think we need to really boost our offense on this draft? And what's up, ha ha? We rank dead last the offense, and I think we need to address it with all the. I think we're more. Go- I think we're definitely gonna spend most of our draft picks on offense. I think it's Chase Young second overall, and then after that, it's gonna mostly be offense. I wouldn't be surprised if every other pick is offense in some way. We'll see though. I and I, this makes me think that movie three hundred every time. Oh yeah, yeah, he does have a warrior name. All right, I'm start. Okay, I just passed my boy Chris Buford's five dollar comment. I trade Terry for Josh Doxson without a doubt. Hate him. If things get really bad and we were in survival mode, would you turn Brody into real hot dogs? Nah, bruh. I'm super dog. I'm I like dogs more than most people, so there's no way. I'm like Will Smith and I am legend, bruh. It's the dog. Miss me and the dog versus everybody else, man. What's good, Rico? Who you think we going pick in third round? What's up, Dre Nation? Ninety seven. Um, appreciate you pulling back up. Uh, who I think we're going to is I don't know, man. We, I mean, it's super up in the air. It's so many things. Cause even if, even if the Redskins love Adam Trotman or Thaddeus Moss or Chase Claypool or whatever. Um, if somebody like a Sadiq Charles or, or um, I'm trying to think, if anybody just randomly slides down, which happens every, every draft, somebody you never expect to make it far ends up making it far, then the Redskins will end up just taking that person. So we'll see. It's good. You know, you never know. You know, if Jeremy Chen is available in the third round, I wouldn't be surprised if we take him type of thing. T. Lewis is creeping up. You're talking about Terrell Lewis from Bama? Yeah, Terrell Lewis is nice. I just feel like we shouldn't spend anywhere near in the first four rounds on edge rusher. After, I mean, especially after we take Chase Young second overall, basically. We, I don't believe we should go ch- uh, edge rusher again. I believe Chase Young will have at least eight sacks against our division alone. I wouldn't be surprised. Gonna be, they got to be crazy if they don't get Chase Young. I agree. Dream Draft, Chase, Winfield, Trent Trade, Antonio Gandy-Golden, Moss tight end. Bro, you trade out Adam Trotman for Moss, and I'm, I super agree. That would be a ridiculous, ridiculous draft. True, bro. I feel like we'll beat the Cardinals by a lot because their D-line sucks. <laughs> what did, why'd you isolate the Cardinals like that, Speedy? what they do to you? <laughs> Hello, Bruce Allen. You're a funny guy. Green was retarded. In fact, <laughs> why you spell it like that? <laughs> Sent you a bump. Would you rather have one more? Would you have rather have one second-round pick for Trent Williams or town four rounds and a fifth like one of the articles about minnesota um i prefer to take the one second me personally it is a pretty deep draft but i honestly would prefer that one second and what's good pedro what's good man make sure y'all check out my boy pedro smith account man man be putting in work make sure y'all subscribe to that man for real for real trying to check my phone real quick, though. But, yeah, make sure y'all check out my boy Pedro Smith, man. I'm going to be putting in work for Redskins Nation. Rico, do you know TJ Ramming that we were supposed to get? He is from Duke. He was a really good player. Where is TJ Ramming? I kind of forgot about him. I recognize that name, but I can't put a face to it right now. What happened to TJ Ramming? I remember that name. I don't see the hype with Thaddeus Moss. Um, he just has the, he has the best hands in the class, and he's going to be a really good blocker. His only problem is that he's limited athletically. And he suffered an injury during the combine. But if he's there in the fifth or sixth round, I'm definitely down to take him. But before then, nah, I'm good. I don't love him that much. Rico, I cannot wait to draft party. Man, I can't wait to do it, man. Hey, Rico, the Chase Young era is almost here. Keep up the great work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good, Lawrence? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, okay, Pedro's in here too. Yes, sir. Yeah, everybody, everybody saying what's up to my boy Pedro. I like that. I like everybody show love to everybody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm so far behind. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh man, I'm behind. Um, hold on. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Hold on. Dang, I'm behind. Oh, let me go to the 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 comments that paid. I gotta dang. Gotta I hate skipping around. But I got to. Two dollars. I can't stick around, but here's another bug ninety nine. Man, I appreciate that, James Dean, man. Really, really appreciate that. Real one, real one. Appreciate that. And my boy Yimmy Yahoo at another two dollars. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What James Dean did four total. My boy Yimmy Yahoo just gave two. Man, appreciate it. I needed that Eric Coyle video. <laughs> I brought. I'm mostly waiting 
for the Air Coryell video because I want to go ahead and see who we end up drafting because I don't want to do the Air Coryell offense video. And then um, I'm a, and a lot of the video is going to be me talking about how the players we have on our team fit in the system and how they'll be utilized. But then we after the draft, we end up with like three or four new offensive guys that are going to really matter. And I, I don't have them included in the video. So I'm waiting until after the draft. But that, I'm definitely working on it, man. I've been studying it. Hopefully it doesn't take me as long as the 4-3 video to get it done. Because that 4-3 video took forever. I'm so sorry. And all I see is so many laughing emojis. I'm so far behind. I'm so far behind. Oh, y'all get yeah, y'all getting it in though. I like it though. I appreciate everybody that's uh coming. Do you believe Sadiq Charles will be there in the third, maybe even the fourth? I say maybe the third, but you never know. Yeah, if he is, I would love to get him. You'd love to get him. There's some uh character concerns with his random suspensions, but Sadiq Charles is very talented. What do you what you what you think about Geno Stone on the on the skins? Um I don't exactly know who that is. Maybe I'm tripping. Who is Geno Stone? And what's up, Kamani? What's good? Argo, what's up? Oh, yeah, he said, hey, Joe, yes, sir. They shot down my ball. Jimmy is also was a ball hawk. Bro, I love Jimmy Moreland, bro. I can't wait. Who will be available in the third round? But there's so many players going to be available. It's a deep draft. I'll be here for forever starting to name them. But Sadiq Charles will be dope in the third. I love Adam Trotman. I'm probably one of the highest on them out of everybody I know. I love Adam Trotman. Current Alabama player says Ruben is coming along nicely, but they are saying conservative push because they want to be 100% from game four and five and on. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Appreciate that, Mark Paul. That's big That's big news, man. Talking about Winfield Jr. stuff again to anybody that's listening. Yeah, Antoine Winfield Jr. is serious, bro. I would love to have him. What's up, Pedro? Always watch your videos. And he's on it. Hey, Rico. What's up, TMS Mill? Keith Washington is a corner from West Virginia. Check him out. He's pretty good as a late pick. Let me write that down. Keith Washington. Hold on. I'm writing it down. Writing it down. Shimmy she. Trent won't play, so I don't see us losing out. Something better than nothing. How do you feel about Malik Harris? Hold on. Hold on. Why does that name ring such a bell? Like, I should super know who that is. Malik. Oh, Malik Harrison. My fault. I do like him, but I feel like our linebacker group is already deep. But him and uh, Kenneth Murray, after Isaiah Simmons, are definitely the best linebackers in this uh, class, in my opinion. I like him a lot, but I just don't think we're going to go there because, you know, we have to address tight end and wide receiver and possibly even tackle. Uh, oh, boy, $15 for my boy DeAndre Downs. Man, I had to skip to that, man. Appreciate that. Keep up the good work, bro. Just showing you some support, man. I really appreciate that. I really do, man. I do. I had to come all the way down here to see your comment. I'm going back up to the top. Appreciate that. I'm trying to catch up. I know I'm behind like crazy, boy. Chase Young is sweating, draft T. Lewis in the third. Can we start and smoke hard to get right after that? I don't feel like we need to go just edge rusher again that high, especially with Montez Sweat and Chase Young. I mean, I love Ryan Anderson. I also like the potential of Jordan Brailford. Ryan Anderson uh, super broke out last season towards the second half. Um, with our schedule, we can go eight and eight. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up winning the division, honestly. Do you think we should trade Trent for a second pick or better? Other than that, force him to play or whatever. We getting Chase Young. Yes, sir, William Carter. Yes, sir. How many sacks you see Chase Young getting this rookie season? Um, I'm thinking somewhere around 13, you know, give or take, you know, one or two sacks or whatever. You know, I, I'm somewhere in that 13. I'm definitely thinking double digits. Our schedule isn't that tough. Yeah, it definitely isn't. Who is T. Lewis? He's the uh, edge rusher from Alabama. Hey, Rico, how to become a moderator? Um, I haven't really been giving them out like that. But um, I know back in the day when it wasn't like a lot of us and stuff, I would give it to the people that were like super stand on everybody's head to like up the stream and to make sure people donate. I also try to give it to people that super duper donate and stuff like that. But I haven't been giving it out lately. It's been like a while since I've like, I need to definitely get back on that. That's a good question. Wait, there's another donation. Got to go down here. Whoa, $50 from my boy Lee Barnes? Oh, that is crazy. Yo, that man Lee Barnes wasn't. Oh, there we go. You said, how do people become moderators? $50? You you got it. You got it. I got to. I got I got to make it. You, your letters got to be blue after a $50 one-time donation, man. Got to be blue, man. 
For real, for real. That's crazy, man. Appreciate that, Lee Barnes. That's a that's a real one right there, man. That's in that stream MVP right now. I, I gotta stroll back up though. I gotta catch up. I gotta catch up. Yeah, Savage was the cornerback from Maryland. Appreciate that. It was Savage. Thank you. Darnell Savage. That man is tough. Maryland comes with a lot of talent. They just never really have a great team all at once. If you could just make an all-time Maryland team, they would probably be, like, really good. But, you know, people go to the draft bit by bit, and they're never able to put together a total team. Trent playing, y'all. He ain't retiring. Oh, he's definitely playing. Trent needs to fire his agent and get back to folks on Hall of Fame. He will play this year even for us. Yeah, I, I would not be surprised. You can't skip out another year, especially with the new CBA and how much money he'll end up losing. It's crazy. Do you like John? I do like John Bostic. I like the potential of Sean Deion Hamilton in the guys more. But John Bostic is a solid linebacker, in my opinion. He's definitely solid. He was doing his thing. He's de- obvious upgrade over Mason Foster. <laughs> I mean, that, that's easy. Are you going live on Thursday? If so, with Tom? Yes, I'm live streaming all of the rounds, especially one through five. Now, when we get to six and seven, we'll see who's available, if it's, you know, interesting enough to keep going. But I'm live streaming all three days. I'm doing I'm live streaming the first round on Thursday, second and third round on Friday, and at least the fourth and fifth round on Saturday. I saw Tua already has some milk commercials. He does? Dang. I don't really watch TV, so I don't see commercials. And what's up, Chuck, um, Chuck Sharks? Appreciate you pulling back up. Chase Young's so good, he already an NFL legend. <laughs> Alex Smith, I'll be starting this season. So we got the Bruce Allen account and the Alex Smith account already. It was the Chase Young one. Imagine the Bengals take Chase Young. We have to get, get Joe Burrow hands down. I prefer to trade down and see what we can do with Haskins. Give Haskins this year. If it doesn't work out, go get Trevor Lawrence, who I believe may end up being better than Joe Burrow. Um, and then just trade down and get Isaiah Simmons, Antoine Winfield, maybe a great receiver like Henry Ruggs or somebody. That would be crazy. But I still prefer Chase Young above all of that. Rico, what teams do you think will trade down? I think Seahawks, they're just known to an the Lions. They need more picks. Plus, the Niners have no mid-round picks. Yeah, that's a really good, yeah. The uh, 49ers, they're going to keep that pick they got for um for DeForest Buckner, which is like 13th overall, somewhere around that thing, believe, right? But they're, they're um it's already been reported they're likely to trade down that other pick, that uh, 31st pick. And then, yes, the trade the Seahawks definitely have a history of trading down. And the Lions with the third overall pick, they it'll be more valuable for them to trade down because they could possibly trade down and still get Jeffrey Kuda or Isaiah Simmons, maybe. So it, I definitely see the Lions. Those are all three really good trade down candidates. I would pay Alex Smith two hundred fourteen million just for him to stay on the team. <laughs> Young back Rico, remember me. What's up, Rico's biggest fan? Yes, sir. I gotta hit you up on Xbox. That's my bad. I haven't like super duper been on like I usually do. I gotta, I'm just going to invite you to the party chat, even if I'm not playing. Because a lot of times I'm on Xbox, I'm on the party chat, and I'm not playing anything a lot. So I, um, and I just, I just like being in the party chat because we're usually like, you know, 12. It, lately, it's, I mean, like a, last week it was 16 deep every day, but now we're like more consistently like 12 deep. So it's not like super full. So there's room for other people to come in there. So I, I definitely can invite you. Who do you think the Panthers getting? Um... That's really interesting because they can go – if Derrick Brown makes it to them somehow, they can definitely go Derrick Brown. And that would be a crazy pick for them. That would be huge value. Um, I mean, they can go They can go a lot of different ways, man. Uh, if, one of them's, if one of those great receivers make it to them, they might go there. Uh, let me see. If, if somehow Isaiah Simmons makes it to them, they might go there. I doubt it, though. But you know what I'm saying? If he does, that's a huge th- that's a huge steal. The Panthers' uh, draft you know, position, though, is a little weird because you don't know exactly who's going to make it to them. But if they can somehow get De- Derek, um, Derek Brown and Javon Kinlaw, that would be crazy. Sad thing is we were 6-2 and two when Alex Smith got hurt. We haven't won a combined six games since. I think we won four. <laughs> that's a funny point. You got to trade back in that scenario. Yeah, we're trading back. We're not taking Tua or uh, Joe Burrow, in my opinion. Bruce, you got my home slice break off me a check. <laughs> you my home slice break me off a check. You think the Ingles would trade up for CeeDee Lamb? I've heard they might. I've, I've heard real rumors they might, but I've also heard that they really like uh, Denzel Mims. So they might not even trade up. They might just go ahead and wait and take him. I might go and work out. All right, Argo. I appreciate that. Appreciate you pulling up. I like the fact that you stay healthy out here. Check, I bet they do. I see the Panthers getting D's. 
Oh yeah, that's a, I already knew that was a setup. I'm not even about to say these who y'all not getting me. And hey, y'all already did it yourself. I see y'all already did it. Hello, y'all in last. Brown's not trading for Trent. Maybe Tampa Bay may trade for him. We'll see, because they need two tackles. Even if they take a tackle, they're gonna probably need another one, especially if they're trying to win now. But if they're trying to, you know, um build for the future, then yeah, I definitely don't see them taking Trent. But if they're trying to win now. I can still see them taking Trent even if they draft a tackle in the first round. What's up, Kyle Simmons, Chase Young? Let's, yes, sir. I hope we draft Adam Trotman. I do too, bro. Rico needs that ESPN contract. Would be a great analyzer. Appreciate that, man. I would love to. I was trying to get into ESPN while I was still in New York. I plan on moving back to New York. I'm going to try again, man. Can you see us double dipping at tight end and wide receiver? Oh, yeah, I could definitely see us doing that. I easily. I could definitely see us drafting two tight ends. I could definitely see us drafting two wide receivers. I mean, they're going to be, like, the second ones will be way, way late in the draft, like sixth or seventh round, if we do. But um, don't be surprised if we bring in a lot of undrafted free agents that are tight ends and wide receivers, too. Tampa ain't playing. Do you think they should name Kyle Smith GM? I think he deserves a job. I do, too. I agree. But I like the fact that Ron Rivera hasn't just handed it to him. He's going to have to, like, earn it. I like that. Hey, Rico, Makai Beckton failed his drug testing. Yeah, I was just talking about that a little bit earlier. If he does slide, it's going to be because of that. I've also heard a rumor that he likes to cook and eat more than he likes football. Some strange stuff. I don't think it's necessarily true. That's so random, too. But we'll see. Christian Sorto, Alabama. Uh, me, same position as Ryan Anderson. D.C. area close to it. 6-5. Genuinely, he is right there with Clemson linebacker. I'm about to check him out. Oh, let me check him out, Mark. Because you're a true Bama fan, and I trust you. You know what I'm saying? I trust you. I'm going to check them out. I'm eating, dog. What's up, Sang Park? That, hey, that's insane. <laughs> Your Tampa isn't doing that. Thrill on Twan said, bro. <laughs> Del Rio Rivera ready to turn Cole Holcomb in the second coming to Luke Keekley. What's your take on it? He's got to improve his coverage skills. That's the thing he's missing. That's the thing he's missing. That is the thing. That's the thing that, we, that if. Cole Holcomb is able to uh, get his cover skills right. He can end up being ridiculous. I still haven't gotten this baby picture up of me. Same, he said, same park, that's illegal. I got lied to. Told it was lamb. It was in Korea. I was also six. Oh, that's crazy. That is super. That, yeah, that you got set up. Have you heard of James Prochet? Yes, sir, I have. Yes, sir, I have. I haven't super duper watched this film, though. Let me write, that, let me write him down so I can make sure. I try to remember the guys that y'all tell me about so I can make sure I watch them first and then get to the guys I'm interested to interested in. Sorry. Holcomb great versus the run, but needs to improve that cover score. I see him beast now in year in a year or two. Oh yeah. Cole Holcomb's potential is crazy, especially with that especially with that speed. But his cover skills are terrible. He's a liability out out there. I don't know why I have hiccups. Tight in the third, hopefully, but that is a best player available pick. I agree. I prefer Adam Trotman third round, but if there's a player that's better than Adam Trotman is at tight end at, a, at another position, I definitely vote go get that guy. Chase Young should go off against the Giants O-line. Oh, yeah, I'm expecting it. Got to hope Chase haunts the, the Giants and Dak. Yes, sir. I'm cool with the street squad. I need to learn more about these players coming out the draft, especially if they come with the Redskins. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. Bet, bet, bet. I love the swag that Dwayne Haskins brings. Oh, yeah, I like it too, man. I like his demeanor too, man. I like how chill he is. I, I, I like, I'm more of a chill guy. I'm trying to, like, uh, what's that movie, Tombstone, the old Western? Uh, what's his face? Uh, the guy that ended up dying. I, I don't know. I I'm tend to gravitate towards the more chill guys. I don't like the real loud, emotional guys. I like how, Dwayne, I mean, Dwayne Askins has shown some emotional, but I like how he's more calm and collected and kind of just ignores people type thing. It ignores the noise instead of feeding into it. Um, but we only were that bad on offense because Bill Callahan was running the ball against seven man fronts and was so playing with his offense. Remember our games were over by three thirty for five or six weeks straight. Yeah, that was crazy, Herb. Bro, my live streams were ending like this, boy. We barely got started. <laughs> Trent needs to be traded already. Why are they holding out for so long? I, they're waiting for like a higher pick. They not they they don't want to settle for like a third or a later. Wings and nachos draft day. I like that. I like that. I'm scared to eat out in any way, shape, or form, but I'm going to figure out something to eat. My bad if you answered it, but have you heard of Keith Washington from West Virginia? No, I haven't. You good, Jay-Z. I'm going to write that down. On the sun, when I dip, no talk. 
I would have rolled like a diplomat. Pedro hating on me all the time. <laughs> Richard, no one wants to give up his worth. It'll happen during the draft when someone misses out on their guy. Exactly. It's either Trent Williams gets traded during the draft or maybe after an injury during training camp or the trade deadline in October. Seriously, Mineski should have been head coach. They did my man wrong. <laughs> head coach. What's up, Andre Hunter? That boy, I like the fact that y'all showing love to my boy Pedro and Big Simple, boy. I like that. The community strong. Fake Alex Smith in the chat. I was going to promote Mineski to head coach, but they fired me. <laughs> what if we, uh, wait, hold on. Dang it. This is one way. Wait, what do we, what do we, where we, where we go, where we go? Where we, where we go? What, do, uh, what if we make Trent play out his contract? The new CBA would make it possible. Yeah, I'll, I'll be down for that. Hey, if we can't get the a second pick or higher, make that man play. And what's up, Michael Robinson? I re I'm really liking KJ Hill. Also has chemistry with Haskins. That is a good point. What's up, Nicholas Grimm? Your take on Colin Johnson? Boy, got to do some research. Writing that down. I got you, Nicholas. <laughs> I got you, Nicholas. Uh, that is boy. Writing that one down. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you and act like I know who that is. What's up, Enrique? What's good? Oh, my boy Marcus Purnell done pulled up. Big up, Rico. I want Van Jefferson in 66, hoping we still Bryce Hall, DB from UVA in the fifth. I would like that. That's dope. That's dope. Rico, I like Cole Komet for the Redskins. The most underrated wide receiver, Gabriel Davis from UFC. Let me write that down. Cole Komet is definitely the safest tight end prospect in this class. Like, you know, guaranteed, basically, you're getting Austin Hooper. Somebody that is a little, well, he might be a little bit better, potential-wise. You know you're guaranteed to get a, a really good blocker and a decent uh, passing game contributor. I believe Adam Trotman and Thaddeus Moss have higher ceilings, even though Thaddeus Moss is limited athletically, but especially Adam Trotman, he definitely has a higher ceiling. But Cole Komet is like the safest thing. You're guaranteed getting a dependable starter at tight end. Who are you taking at 66? How would you use our fourth rounders? 66, um, like uh, what's his face said earlier, I'm definitely going best player available. My boy, uh, Patty, who was it? Who said it? Oh, dang, I ended up com um, copying and pasting everything for that comment. Hold on, I got to delete that tab. But yeah, I'm going best player available, especially at a position of need. But I prefer Adam Trotman with the third round, Marcus Brunette. That's my, I love Adam Trotman, like a lot, man. I feel like he could literally be like Travis Kelsey, George Kittle type thing. Um, and then how would you use fourth rounders? Still, same thing, best player available. If there's a really good wide receiver still available, take him. A really good safety somehow, um, really good offensive lineman somehow, go go that way. True, but I get frustrated when I see an injured block and tight end in the third. <laughs> Moss has the best hands. Moss is the best blocker. Moss played in the SEC, Redskins, Draft Division, Trotman. Come on, son. Division two. But Adam Trotman's ceiling is crazy, bro. Don't sleep on my boy Adam Trotman. But Thaddeus Moss is that dude, too. It's just the injury concerns. And uh, like my boy, like I had him um, that was on my radio show with me on Friday with my boy Leonard Kirby. Shouts out to my boy Leonard Kirby. Uh, um, It's just weird that nobody was really talking about Thaddeus Moss until, like, the playoff time. And he plays in the SEC, so it's weird that nobody literally was talking about him until, like, the championship game. So that's a little, you know, a little concerning, you feel me? But, you know what I'm saying? Not something I'm too worried about personally, but at the same time, like, he's limited athletically, so it's not much. He can't get much, much better from what we get him. We're going to get one of the best blocking tight ends, and he has dependable hands. He didn't drop a pass all season. But Adam Trotman has the potential to, like, like literally be like a Travis Kelsey if, and if everything ends up working out. Not very likely, but it's there. The talent is there. I'm hearing we have interest in trading for Christian Kirk. What would you offer? We do? That's so random. What happened to Christian Kirk, man? That man was so explosive in college. That man was crazy in college. Went to the Cardinals and just, it didn't really work out. I don't know why. That boy Ron Rivera is in here now. It's good. <laughs> I love the second and third rounds because that's when the draft skills are really put to the test. I agree. That's why I've loved that Kyle Smith has really made like fifth round picks matter. No more edge rushes after Young. Yeah, I agree. I definitely think if we do, it needs to be like an undrafted free agent maybe to add depth. But we need to address tight end and wide receiver more, in my, in my opinion. All right, I'm trying to catch you. 
boy I'm behind I'm still scrolling there we go Lee Barnes a baller wow holy cow Lee crap I think it's quite possible the skins get to double digit wins barring a ton of injuries where's my wrench lol making it rain <laughs> now I'm hating on Lee Barnes <laughs> Make me a moderator. I'll donate in a future date when I get my stimulus. <laughs> Hayden the Great. I know Pro Shea from C C4 Series where he could only draft un players, undrafted players. What's up, everybody? Are you ready for the draft? What's up, John Lynch? Oh, boy, Outlaw King 757. What's good, man? I can't wait for the draft. There's a 110 people in here. Please give them a like, everyone, before you leave. Yeah, Yes, let them know, her. Make sure y'all like up the video while y'all in here just chilling, man. So that's been how you recur. What do you think of the Redskins get 318 and Dolphins get 226 and Lions get five and second from Dolphins? That's interesting. I don't know. If we can still take Chase Young, I'll definitely take it. It's a risk. And I don't think that, you know, that crazy deal will work out, but that would be insane to still get Chase Young and get the 18th overall pick. That would be ridiculous. That would be like one of the best thing, best moves I've seen the Redskins make in like forever. And what's up, Dylan? If a team was interested in Kerrigan and Trent for a first, would you take that deal? Yes, I do. I should be good to go by training camp. Oh, Lord. I got a feeling Haskins will be the best QB in the division next season. Let them know, man. Alex, Alex trolled too much for a wrench. <laughs> Cincinnati needs a QB. Chase Young is coming home. Yes, sir. You're right. They, I mean, they've literally been talking to Joe Burrow three times a week. They, they, they're taking him. I want competition. Alex moves nine trolls. He's just a smart man. Chase Young, here we come. Yes, sir. Rico, do you think what do you what do you think about this trace scenario? Trent, seventh rounder and a future fifth for New England's 98th and 100 picks in their future sixth. Now nah, I'm good. I want a second pick or higher. I'm sorry. Anything including Trent and it's not a second pick or higher unless you. Really good player and maybe a third or a fourth then but other than that I'm good. I hope we really I really hope we play the Giants week one at home. I wouldn't be surprised. We keep playing division rivals in the beginning of the year and in the end. That's been like a thing the past couple of years. Thanks for the clarification. Uh Roquan Smith or Isaiah Simmons. He, you know I'm a Georgia Bulldog, but Isaiah Simmons is a little bit different. Plus he's durable. That's not even fair because Roquan Smith Injury prone like crazy. But even when fully healthy, Isaiah Simmons is just too unique. I love my boy Roquan. I do, but Isaiah Simmons is different. I saw a clip of Andy Dalton throwing 20-yard passes at a target in his backyard and bullying, bullying it every time, like, eight straight passes. Don't see why Cincinnati looking for QB. Because uh, it's ceiling. I mean, you already know. He's not going to work out. His ceiling is just too low. Rico, what time are you going to start draft party? Uh, I'm going to start like 30 minutes before the draft starts. So if the draft is like, it's usually at like 8 p.m., right? I'll start at like 7.30, maybe 7. For the draft, the best player on board, actually. Good to know, Coach. Oh, yeah, Patrick West, my fault. That's what I meant earlier. My boy Patrick West said, go best player available. I agree. Any PS4 players, game attacks. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm Xbox over here, Jay-Z. I'm taking Chase. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't see Tua having a long NFL career. I've had my hip reconstructed. Yeah, man, I've heard that it's, like, really hard to come back for that. Just in real life, let alone football. All right, PS4 here, streamer. Anybody play Smite? I've seen Smite. I was interested in it. I like games like that. Games where you pick different characters and stuff and go against each other. Um, I'm usually, like, a healer in games because I already know I can do my own DPS just off of me just being so aggressive. So I like being healers. Our defense will make some noise this year. I agree. You think we can get that corner haul from UVA? He probably falls since injury midseason last year. Yeah, he. I'm pretty sure he will fall. But I super. I gotta really, really get into his film though to like give like a really good answer though. We're gonna have a Hall of Fame defense by 2022. I agree. Hey Rico, I don't care if, but we had to take best player on the board. Uh. Wait, what? Wait, what? Did, uh, I'm lost, Raycon. I'm sorry. I'm lost. Just trying to hurry up and sprint through these. Wouldn't it be great if real, if this was the real Riverboat Ron was one of your subscribers? That would be crazy. <laughs> All right, Doc Holiday. Let me write this down. Oh, Doc Holiday. Thank y'all from Tombstone. Thank you, Doc Holiday. Yeah, my boy Doc Holiday. That was my boy. 
That was my boy. I, I'm behind in the stream. Thank y'all. Doc Holiday was my boy. Give a thumbs up. There's 127 people here. Y'all let them know. Yeah, thank y'all for the Doc Holiday, bro. Tombstone was a great movie, man. My granddad's on both sides. Love West. Love westerns. I haven't seen a lot, but I love that. That Tombstone movie was movie was crazy. Doc Holliday's up there and one of my favorite characters of anything I've watched, including animes and all of that. My boy Doc Holliday's a real one. Um, West Virginia all day. Liked way back. You said who? Oh yeah, yeah. But my mom put me on the tombstone. I was just saying that um that I was just saying they love watching them though. But yeah, my mommy put me on the tombstone. Can you turn your mic up so I can hear you? My mic is pretty loud. It's like literally on the little feed, it's almost hitting the red area. It's green and yellow. Um, I see Trent getting traded uh during the draft. Y'all wouldn't be surprised. I've heard that that's actually building up. My right, girl, you must be deaf then. <laughs> I hope all the Chase Young talk drives Sweat to the best he can possibly be. He can be beast in a 4-3 scheme. What's up, Aaron Gray? Yeah, Montez Sweat is going to be crazy. He's going to super benefit just from Chase Young being on the other side. Like, it's just, I mean, Montez Sweat one-on-one all day is going to be crazy. Trent should show league he can still go at high level by playing till the trade deadline. If he still want to leave, we can get... Nine plus games out of them before a possible second rounder from a contender. That is like literally the best case scenario, Gary B. I appreciate that. That's the best case scenario. Greg Wineski couldn't be my high school head coach. <laughs> Maybe a moderator. I can help monitor the trolls. I'm punching my punching bag. That is so random. That boy Argo really out here working out. Rico, I think we need a big body wide receiver. That's what I've super been preaching. That's why I want to give Cam Sims again. That's why I love CeeDee Lamb so much, even though I know for a fact we're not getting them. Um, that's why I love Lawrence, Lawrence Cager as an undrafted free agent or later in the draft. I definitely want a big body guy. That's why I want a receiving tight end also. After Chase Young next year, we get high cornerback. Our defense can be legendary. I agree. I feel like we more than likely will go tackle. But we, and then again, we might address ta- we might address tackle in free agency because we're going to have top three cap space. We might steal somebody from another team. Yeah, Cole Komet is pretty nice. Tyler Johnson, let me write that down. What's up, Loco Jackson? What's good? Write that down, write that down, write that down, write that down. Uh, let me, I'm going to fall behind some more, but I do want to get this. Uh, I'm ty- I don't like the fact that y'all just looking at a black screen, so let me uh, get this baby picture up there real quick. Hold on, hold on. I guess I got to delete it and re-add it or something. Add the files. Come on. Come on, computer. Don't slow down now. I got to catch up in these comments. Come on. Hurry up. Hold on. Go back up. Go back up. There we go. There we go. Where is it? I don't see it. Is my computer tripping? My computer's probably tripping. That's why the screen is still black. I don't know what's going on. But uh, all right, back to y'all. My puncher bag is a picture of Jay Gruden. (laughs) <laughs> My speed bag is Pat Mahomes. Uh, Michael Pittman is 66 up there. Dang, it just scrolled down for me. And I didn't want to. Uh, I like Kevin O'Connor those last three games when he was calling the plays. He was a beast. Yeah, I like them too, man. We need to drive Leon Sandcastle. Who is that? Is that made up? Who is Leon Sandcastle? That sounds made up like crazy. Soon as I saw that Moss mom, he lost all athletic credibility to me. Then I cut his dad some slack because I forgot he was from West Virginia. <laughs> That's so ran away. I don't even know what that means. I have not seen I have not seen his mom. What happened? If Claypool commit Dantzler and Arnett there at third, who you got? Um, I think I might go Claypool. I might honestly I might go Chase Claypool. What's up, Russell Clarkson? What's good? So, Rico, have you checked out Tyler Johnson, wide receiver from Minnesota? Perfect fourth round still. Awesome hands and route running skills remind me of Allen Robinson. Um, I've seen a little bit of him, and I do like him, but I haven't super. He's not one of those guys I've really, really liked, like Chase Claypool and, and Antonio gandy Golden and stuff. Guys like that, I haven't gotten to his film sessions like I've gotten to theirs, where it's just super duper. And I got a few days to go, and I got to really, really start watching people. NFL rosters are made up mostly of third through fifth rounders. That is pretty true. 
I'm making a prediction that the Redskins will have the number one D line. Hey man, we can do it for real. I'm glad we have our QB because I'll really be afraid to be looking for a QB this year. Burrow going number one. He only played well this year in that system, and Tua can't stay healthy. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a really good point. And his QB, his uh, the QB coach that uh was great got hired by the Panthers, I believe, and so he won't have him at the NFL level. So we got to see what Joe Burrow can do in his own. I mean, Joe Burrow, I feel like it is going to be great, but it is weird that he just out of nowhere was just great in one year. There's no, like, super guaranteed this guy is just going to be legendary quarterback. There's some, you know, question marks all over the place. I hope Tua goes to L.A. That would be crazy. I can't wait to see Haskins to play. He is going to be fun to watch. I Man, I can't wait. What's up, Brinkley Diamonds? Who else from the Redskins should we, should we trade before the draft? Um... I don't know. I mean, if Ryan Kerrigan is not willing to take down that price, that $11.5 million he's making this year, trade him for a third or better, if possible. I doubt it, but that would be dope. Biggest sleeper in the draft? Um, whew, I got to actually start getting that together, who I really think is the biggest sleeper. Um, I mean, I feel like Adam Trotman, even as well-known as his name is, I think a lot of people are asleep on how great he can actually be. I love Adam Trotman. Lots of people hating on Haskins when his first seven starts were very similar to Jones and Murray's first seven starts. Plus, Jones and Murray had the team behind them, and they were more prepared. So that's not even that's not even fair. If you heard again, he's going to need a whole new hip, and that'll be the end, basically. I'm playing this game on the PS4 card, Hunt Showdown. It's really good. I've never heard of it. But PlayStation has more exclusives than Xbox, so I'm not surprised. To a Smash game about to be weak with that fraudulent hip. <laughs> Haskins needs a top five defense and and a thirteen hundred yard running back, not a wide receiver. Don't even think wide receiver until wide, round five. I mean, if there's a really good one like Chase Claypool, I say do it. But yeah, I definitely am more tight end. Uh, you like Tombstone? Then you gotta cop the new Magnificent Seven with Denzel. Um, did I see that already? I gotta remember. Do I? Did I see the Magnificent Seven? I know I've seen that silly that city Adam Sandler version of a Western movie when it was like the brothers. That was funny. Did you check out the movie Colors yet? No, nah, I haven't, bro. I haven't even finished my animes I've been watching. Michael, I haven't even. I just finished Code Geass a few. I still, I'm on Food Wars like episode five, and I started watching it like a week ago. I haven't really been watching anything, really, like, period. I'm working on videos or I'm, a, or I'm on Xbox or doing something around the house, walk, taking Brody for a walk, whatever. He said, your mother just checked the hell out of you. Yeah, she, she, my mom's always on my head. She don't play. How would you feel if we traded Trent for OBJ in a fifth? I'd be down to do that. I mean, at this point, I got Jeremy Sprinkle taking a big step this season. The competition going to bring it out. What's up, BLVD Sparks? Um, it'll be nice. I don't, I don't think it's very likely because we we let him start all of those games and we didn't see much progress. Still had Butterfinger hands, but we'll see, though. If he ends up working out, that would be great. I'm fine if we if he play five to nine more for us and get us a second. That would be lit. Yeah, that would be crazy. That's like the best case scenario. Wait, wait. Why did the stream just skip like that? I'm not that that far behind anymore. But I had a feeling that Gruden did not like Brother QBs. The way he treated RG3 was a prime example. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's just pure coincidence, but it's never worked out. <laughs> Askins and RG3, he clearly, like, obviously didn't like those two guys. Um, Might just be a coincidence, though. What unnamed, unnamed quarterback doesn't need a nice back or a nice D to be successful? Yeah, that's a good point. That is a good point. And that's why Winfield, everybody, every quarterback needs stuff around him to actually win games and not just put up good stats. If Antoine Winfield falls to the third, would you rather draft him or Kenny Stills or pick Michael Pittman Jr.? Um, I might go Antoine Winfield because I just, I mean, Antoine Winfield really could be like a first-round talent maybe. So if he makes it to the third, that's crazy. Elite deep threat wide receiver or five yards a carry type of running back? Um... Uh, I don't know. I personally just like watching running backs more. But both can be really impactful. But a, an elite deep threat wide receiver, though, can probably last longer. They're taking less hits. Unless it's Deshaun Jackson. Sparks, if you ever watch the butter off his hands, he might be okay. <laughs> Show you right, James Fisher Winfield. Why are folks sleeping on Chase Claypool? Yeah, Chase Claypool is crazy. 
Uh, I, but I highly doubt he even makes it the third round. And let me know, Leon Sandcastle is Deion Sanders' alter ego. Like Kyrie is the Uncle Juke. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I was about to say, that sounds made up. <laughs> that just sounded stupid. Thank you for that, Shane. Ben Bar six nine. All right, let me write that down because I'm not. I don't. I don't I'm not hip on Ben Bart. So let me write that down, Andre Hunter. High school b baller. Those guys that play basketball in high school end up being pretty athletic. That brother Stark. They always sleep on Golden Domers. What is Golden Domers? Leon beat me for rookie of the year in Madden eleven, and I rushed for three thousand yards that last. <laughs> That's so random. LeVar Brown, Redskins should have hold off on signing Rodgers and Thomas at the tight end position because now you have burden for agent and Howard available trade. I mean, those guys aren't guaranteed. They're on such cheap deals. We can just, if we get somebody better, we can just cut them and it won't hurt anyway. But Trey Burden, um, they've already said publicly they're not going after him. How Rico, I mean, if jump in first spot, grab Chase, do we trade down and get Simmons? Let me, yeah, if some for some reason somebody somehow gets Chase before us, which I doubt, which I highly doubt, then it's trade down and get Isaiah Simmons. Just put it like this. You've never seen Randy Moss baby mom for a reason. <laughs> That's so stupid. Alex did uh, trade K. <laughs> man, Smokes is stupid, man. Um, Trey Kerrigan and, Mo and Moses for a second. Oh, that would be crazy. I'd definitely take that. Um, I think you can get a second round pick for Kerrigan if you wait until the trade deadline like last year with the Ravens on the playoff run. I agree. What's up, Monster? What's good? Who's your favorite mid round cornerback? Mine is Darnay Holmes. Um, I don't know. I really, I do like Lamar Jackson. I'm not gonna lie, I like, I like Lamar Jackson. That man, that man is serious. That might be one of my favorite mid round corners. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't just, I don't super love any mid round corners though. Like, just, we gotta get this guy type of guy. Me personally, this, not this draft. Serious, serious question, Rico. Will the strip clubs in the A be back in May trying to plan a bachelor party for my boy down there? What's up, Theo? Honestly, I don't know. Cause they're trying to bring back Freak Nick too. And I think that might be canceled. I don't know what's going on. We re really, nobody knows anything right now. Tombstone got nothing on Wild Wild West by Will Smith. Now, that's a very slept-on movie. Wild Wild West by Will Smith is literally one of my, like, favorite ten movies of life. But nobody really likes it like that. Especially since he turned down Matrix to do that movie. He should have been uh, in all the Matrix movies instead of uh, Buddy from um, the Assassination movie or whatever. Uh, I can't remember his name right now. I see his face, but I can't remember his name. Um... But I love Wild Wild West so much. And I don't know what just happened to my computer. What is going on? Can you can you do something, computer? Computer, what is going on? It just froze. Uh, at Tower of God to your anime list. Yeah, all of my friends are already watching it on a weekly basis. I need to go ahead and catch up. I'm trying to learn how to connect to my YouTube channel with my PS4 to stream. Well, I don't know. I don't know anything about PlayStation since PlayStation 2. And so they allow stick them again. Jeremy, Jeremy Sprinkle doesn't stand a chance out making this cut. <laughs> I hope the defensive coordinator plays Smash Mouth football, power to wear down. Yeah, I think we're going to play really strong and really fast. I think they're building up speed and everything. Bro, what is going on with my computer, though? Why am I stuck like this? What did I do? Computer. I've never seen my computer just get stuck in this mode. Like, I accidentally zoomed out and, like, all my apps are right here. And now my computer's stuck. I'm about to pull up the comment section on my phone, man. Because my computer is tripping. And why do I get so many notifications on Mixer when somebody's broadcasting? What is going on? All right, let's see, let's see. Let me go to my channel. Yeah, my computer is bugging. Do I need to, like, restart it? Like, it's not moving. <laughs> it's not moving. Let me turn this down. All right, now I got to talk to y'all through my phone. I got to read the comments through my phone. All right, before I scroll all the way up. Okay, my boy Chris, appreciate that, man. $2 just representing. What's up, Rika? Hell to the Redskins. Appreciate that, man. For real, for real. Thank you. Thank you for that $2, man. Thank you for the donation. Real one, real one over there. Oh, it's so, oh as soon as I pull out my phone, the computer fixes itself. But now my computer's tripping. Now I won't move. All right, I'm still going to stay on here for a little while. All right, where am I at? How far behind am I? How far behind am I? I'm not super far behind. I'm not that bad. I'm catching up. 
Um, hope the offensive coordinator. Oh, you said offensive coordinator. My fault. I hope the offensive coordinator plays Smash Mouth football to wear opponent down defense. Is what I love. Old school football. What's up, James Fisher? Yeah. Um, I think I already said what's up to you though. Um, yeah, I would. I think we're. Um, but I. I don't. I'm not gonna necessarily say we're gonna go Smash Mouth. I really do hope so though. I do like Smash Mouth football. I love like you know the the personality and the the demeanor that comes with it, but. I feel like we're going to be more Sean McVay creative type of thing. Scott Turner gets really creative. A lot of trick plays, all of that type of stuff. But we'll see, though. Um, Chase Young equals Super Saiyan Ultra Instinct Goku. I've never been able to get into Dragon Ball Z. I was, like, in the Cell tournament, and everybody's saying that's the best part, and I was still, like, ah. I don't know what it was. And it's not even because it's an older anime, because I love Yu Yu Hakusho. But I just can't. I don't know what it is about Dragon Ball Z. I just don't like I was bored. I know how to connect on Xbox, not PlayStation. Chase Young is a monster. Can't wait to get him. What's up, Franco? Yes, sir. I agree. Agree, by Starkey. Young equals weird. Greg Minuski made our defense better. Hate him. Terrell Lewis may be, a spill, may be the spill of the draft. Yeah, Terrell Lewis is really good. I just don't think we need to go edge rusher again after taking Chase Young. Need to address other, other uh, parts. Michael Starkey Haskins went to him a lot. He must have made him an easy target. Does need to work on hands. Yeah, man, I really hope, I really hope Jeremy Sprinkle could work out. I feel like they designed plays for Jeremy Sprinkle. They were like, you, we going to force you to get better type of thing. But it would be dope if Jeremy Sprinkle got his hands together. He could actually be pretty good. I might have to agree on Sprinkle because when Hinge just started balling out the end, Sprinkle stopped dropping passes, almost made us lose out on Chase. That is a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Jeremy Sprinkle, that last game, you know what I'm saying? Those last two games looked a little bit better. He still had drops, but... It wasn't as bad. What's good, Rico? Do you think LaVisca Chenault can fall to 66? Um, doubt it. But maybe. You never know, bro. It's a deep wide receiver class. He might make it for real. And what's good, Nick Flair? Drip. I like that name, you know, because Rick Flair is a Georgia Bulldog. You know what I'm saying? Georgia Bulldog fan. I like it. And I'm assuming your name is Nick, so I like that. I like that. I rock with it. I rock with it. What do you think about... What Orlando Brown said. What did he say? Chase was literally the perfect first name for a future Hall of Famer. <laughs> that is pretty funny how that worked out. It's crazy that he wears the number two also and is probably and, and is going to get picked number two overall. Did you hear that Chase Young said the QB he wanted to sack most was Lamar Jackson from Baltimore? Yes, I heard that. I like that. Storm's knocking your PC connection around. It's not even like internet. My computer just spans. I don't know what that was. It's like CPU speed struggle. But this storm is crazy. Atlanta's terrible. Right now, it's not storming yet right now. But earlier today, but it was terrible. Skins went all in on a top wide receiver in free agency. Like us to show same effort in draft. Moving in the second, getting Higgins, Jefferson, IU. The kind of pick that would be us debating who's our number one wide receiver. I like that, Gary B. That is a good point. We went that hard in free agency for a wide receiver for Amari Cooper. Didn't get him. So I wouldn't be surprised if we end up, you know, really, really trying to get a really talented wide receiver. If Redskins trade with Dolphins for 5, 18 to 26, would you be okay getting Beckton offensive tackle, the tight end from Notre Dame, and Jerry Judy? Um, I mean, that would be a decent haul, but if we were to get the fifth pick, I'd prefer to use that on Isaiah Simmons. The 18th on a tackle, so maybe like Beckton. I love Beckton. And then 26th, I doubt Jerry Judy's even going to make it that far. Um... So I prefer to go maybe go safety, maybe corner. I don't know. It depends on who's available. This draft is going to be really weird. This draft is going to be very weird. Sorry I'm late coming in. I was playing video games with a guy. What's up, Kid Jones? You good, man? Appreciate you pulling up. Biggest sleepers, in my opinion, are Lamar Jackson from Nebraska, Quentin Cephas, Quintez Cephas from Wisconsin, and Trajan Brandy, Bandy from Miami. We'll let us see them in the burgundy. All right, so I need to write that down because uh, how long? Where's that comment? I'm not that far behind anymore. Your boy Rico caught up. Stop playing with me. I'm on my, hey, man. I'm in my bag right now. I'm catching up. Lamar is hard to sack, but I think on the right play, Young will get him. Well, I've, I've seen somewhere if somebody pointed out that the Redskins getting Chase Young with Montez Sweat are going to have like two of the most athletic guys in the league. So we're going to be well-built to stop uh, mobile quarterbacks. Like, if any defensive line can stop uh, 
mobile quarterbacks, then um, then our defensive line will be that defense. The Jonathan Allen's uh, shockingly athletic. Chase Young and Montez Sweat are just like freaks, and they can definitely hog down a Lamar Jackson or whoever. So um, that's going to be crazy. I can't wait. Uh, Bruce Allen Mineski made the Redskins defense so bad to the point that you should have put flags around their waist. <laughs> You're in the matrix, Rico. Wait, what happened? Is my thing glitching? Is that what you're saying? You talking about my computer? Oh, Rico, I forgot Holmes is also a good punt returner. Let me write that down, Speedy. I got you. Hold up. All right, I'm about to cut the grass. By the way, you're WCO.E. Wait, what? Wait, what? What is WCOE? I'm confused. I meant, by the way, you're welcome to join my party anytime you like. All right, Rich, I got you. All right. I'll definitely be pulling up to your party chats. Wild Wild West, you let's get back to football. Oh, Wild Wild West is crazy, though. That's one of my favorite movies, not even going to lie. Yeah, yo, I grew up on that movie. I had the VHS. After the credits went off, it was the Wild Wild West theme song, and then it was Valiamos by uh, Enrique Iglesias. And I love those two songs because of that. It's just super nostalgia. Chase said that he he could take Jackson, and, and plus I just love the movie. It was a pretty funny movie. Chase said he could take Jackson in open space 1v1. Oh, man, he not playing. I don't think anybody can, but if anybody could, it'd probably be him. Where did you get the name Street Scores from? Um, I started a bunch of uh, different uh, YouTube channels. Like, I have a gaming one, I have a travel one, and I have a tutorials one. And I haven't been, like, super duper on those other ones like I've been with my Street Scores. But um, I just did it for alliteration. I have Street Scores, Street Strafing, which is the gaming one street sites or scopes for the, that's the travel one and street schoolings that's the tutorial and something like i just wanted to do like you know street something with two s's for each of them uh ocho said terry the best wide receiver in the nfl he did let him know man that boy ocho cinco know what he talking about minuski was elite what you mean <laughs> oh my boy blvd sparks with the two dollars man appreciate that appreciate that yes sir much appreciated much appreciated yeah, that's why Minuski got hella demoted. <laughs> Bruce Naruto over Dragon Ball Z. Even though this is the troll Bruce Allen account, I agree wholeheartedly. I, I couldn't even finish Dragon Ball Z. I was in the middle of the Cell Saga, and everybody was talking about that's the best part. And I was just like this. I was bored. I literally just stopped. I put it down. I haven't come back. It's been like over a year. Christian, so Yeah, I'm in, a, I'm in Atlanta, Christian. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How would you feel if we drafted Simmons? I'll be pretty sad. I want Chase Young. I'll be a little bit sad, not going to lie. Don't forget to like the stream. Hail to the Redskins. But Isaiah Simmons is really talented. But I'll, anything but Chase Young, I'm sad. All right, I'm going to head out. See y'all on Tuesday. All right, Speedy. Yes, sir. Pull up Tuesday. Live mock draft with y'all. I'm going to like take y'all input, and we're going to do the picks together. Rico is there. Really good kicker in this draft because it would be nice to upgrade hockey. My A, hey, my boy. My boy, Rodro, Rodrigo Blankenship from Georgia. You know what I'm saying? We should be, you know, I don't, I don't know what round kickers are projected to go in, and I don't want to waste a, I don't even want to waste a fifth rounder on him. But, they, hey, Rodrigo Blankenship just entered the draft. I don't know what my Georgia Bulldogs are going to do at kicker. i seen we recruited somebody that could kick like 60-something yarders. We'll see, but I'm going to miss Rodrigo. Uh, We could do a hell of a lot worse. The Hopkins, though. Yeah, that's that's definitely true. Wish he could kick four yards further, though. After 56 yards, it was always short. Yeah, I agree. I agree. When will you get on Xbox? I got you, Argo. I'm going to get on Xbox later. I'll hit you up. You think there's a possibility to consider moving Kelvin Harmon to tight end? Now, I don't think he has a frame for it. He's not wide enough. He's strong, but he's not that wide. What thoughts on you? I, I think Cam Sims will more than likely, even though he's really skinny, but, you know. Just off the fact that he's 6'5", it might be able to work out better. What thoughts on getting wide receiver Isaiah Hodgins late? Think he is think he is sleeper. I do like Isaiah Hodgins. Um, I don't know exactly what round he might go in, though, per se. But um, there's a lot of really good receivers in this class. Like, I mean, everybody has a different guy that they love. And nobody's really wrong. I'm happy to see that we got a defensive coordinator to make halftime adjustments. Greg Minuski and Jay Gruden was the worst at halftime adjustments. Best we ever had was Gibbs and, bro, you ain't lying. You are not lying, James Fisher. 
Christian Sorry, no D say worth anything consistently blames his players. I got sick of hearing they gotta communicate. <laughs> no defensive coordinator worth any bro. That was terrible, bro. That was terrible. They gotta communicate. No, you gotta do better coaching. Just sub the street striping. Oh my boy DD Dolly. Okay, DD Doily. Appreciate that. I, I should start doing my street striping YouTube, because why not? I just don't feel like editing videos for my gaming channel. I mean, if people want me to upload gaming channel stuff with no editing, I'm down to do it. I'm just going to have to super censor it. Like, I can't. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But, um, what's it called? It? Yeah. What was I saying? But, yeah, I mean, I would. I could you know, upload stuff on Street Strafing again. But I just do not feel like editing. After seeing you take Kager in your mock draft, look them up. You made me a believer. I take him with a late pick. Appreciate that, Steve Lodge, bro. That man is a beast, bro. Like, literally nobody in the SEC could lock him down. Like, it was crazy. He just can't stay healthy. Bro, Manusky and Jay Gruden didn't even do adjustments, I swear. Went up to, went up, we went up 17-0 to and lost because they wouldn't make adjustments over and over. Bro, it was terrible. Enrique, I want to play you in Madden. Um, I'm not really that great at Madden. I'm a first-person shooter, sandbox guy. So I play, like, Art, Atlas, Seven Days to Die, those type of games. I'm also really good at like the overwatches and stuff like that. Um, but my bread and butter is Halo, number one. Halo 2, Halo 3, thus going to always be the games I'm the most try hard at. Like, I mean, literally like the guy that you just hate to run into, three shot and headshots, all that type of stuff, super try hard, ninja and people, super try hard. Like, it got to a point that we stopped even playing rank. We just played against each other because we like, we like, we were part of like the super try hard Halo Three community to where we just played custom games. We couldn't we couldn't get enough comp and rank team deathmatch and duos and stuff like that. I was a uh, what was the last brig you were before you hit general? That's what I was, but mostly everybody else was the top general uh, ranks. I keep forgetting what it was a three star or five star. But bruh, it was if I didn't play so much uh, um, custom game zombies. I definitely would have been a general if I really put my effort into it. But we just started playing so much just 4v4 custom games that, you know, because it, it wasn't enough comp online. And then also Call of Duty. I'm, I play Warzone. I love Apex. Um, I haven't played as much Apex lately because Warzone from Call of Duty is so fun. Um, I used to play PUBG. But, yeah, Madden, I'm not really good at I play. I'm really good at Superstar KO. But as far as playing as everybody on offense and defense, I don't think I'm that great. I don't know. I haven't really tried it, so I wouldn't know. I don't ever, like, play regular Madden. I was thinking about doing a league, though. My friends were literally talking about that yesterday. Kick a jet toner out of Stanford. Keep his name on the radar. Okay, cool, cool. cool. I'm going to write that down. That's so random. I'm feeling Chenault slip into the third round. <laughs> Why you spell it like that, Dej? Why you do my man name like that? But, yeah, LaVisca Chenault might slip. Seventh round. I was kidding about – hold on. Where'd he go? I was kidding about Maneski. He single-handedly almost got me to not watch the game. I love the skin. <laughs> you have a dope avatar. What are you talking about? On oh, what? Dope avatar. You talking about on Xbox? LC, you're 100% right. Uh, kick a seventh round, maybe. I think Cam might go to the Jags or the Patriots. I, bro, please. I just want him to go somewhere and get a ring this year. Because 2021 and beyond, I want my Redskins to get a ring. But I know it's not really realistic for 2020. But 2020, I want Cam Newton to go somewhere and get a, get a ring. Still my favorite player in the NFL. Southwest Atlanta in the building. Represents it well. He didn't, go, he didn't go and leave Atlanta and change up. He's still Atlanta through and through. Comes back, donates, uh, puts money into Southwest Atlanta. We had those nice courts because of him. I super rock with Cam Newton. Him and Adam Pac-Man Jones. Southwest Westlake High School legends. I need all the draft picks of the Dolphins for the next three years to trade back. Bruh, I, I, bro, I'm going to need the whole thing. I agree. All of them. I'm going to need like eight first-round picks. It was the players, not Minuski. <laughs> I hate Bruce Allen. Remember when fans tried to switch up and go to the Ravens? Oh, yeah, that was so annoying. Same, I was with them clans in Reach. I loved Halo Reach was really slept on. Halo Reach was one of them games. We didn't know how good we had it until afterwards because Halo 4 was so not good. It just wasn't it. So going back to, uh, what's it called it? Going back, looking back at Halo Reach, we just really didn't appreciate it when we had it. I used to love Halo Reach. I didn't try hard as much on Halo Reach as I did Halo 2 and Halo 3. 
But that's because just period. I think in order, Halo 3, Modern Warfare 2, World at War, and maybe Halo 2. That In, in order are the games I've most tryharded at in my life. And then maybe Apex 5th. And I'm kind of try hard on Warzone, but not not as much. I kind of just be chilling. I just be chilling. Well, at least what I consider chilling. I don't think getting like 12 kills in Warzone is like just ridiculous, like at all. I think that's actually very doable. I feel like if I was like really, really like I super cared and didn't play a whole bunch of Ark and stuff, and I especially if I played solos, I should be able to get like 15 kills in Warzone if I really was try harding. Because back in my Modern Warfare 2 days, I used to be one of those 360 no-scope guys. I used to super be five quick scoping, bro. It was crazy. Uh, I said 360 no-scope. 360 quick scope. I mean, all we used to play was hardcore search. If it was anything not hardcore, anything not search and destroy, I just felt like you was just wasting my time. I mean, it was just it was really bad back then. You should play Brawlhalla. That's my fa- I never really liked Brawlhalla. My friends love it. They, they get in. They play Brawlhalla like eight deep. And I'll pull up the stream and watch and laugh because they be talking hella trash when they're doing it. But I just, I'm personally just never been a big fan of Brawlhalla. It was fun for me for me for like two weeks, but after that, I was like, ah. All right, Rico, see you later. I'll catch you at the draft, and I hope we can make it to 5K sub soon. Man, yes, appreciate that, AGM Productions. Pull up Tuesday also. I'm live streaming a live mock draft. With Pandemic, how would social distances work to go stadium half attendance? Honestly, I have no idea, bro. I hope they can figure this out. I think they might just not allow fans, period. Me personally, I think we are fine at the receiver position. I focus should be Chase Young, offensive line, tight end, and corner. I would just like a big body receiver. But if Kelvin Harmon somehow emerges and is great, then, yeah, we won't need a wide receiver. Brahalla isn't bad. It's different, that's for sure. Got to cop Smite, though. Yeah, I've seen Smite, and I was interested, but, you know, none of my friends had it, so I just never, like, went – Went to trying to do it. Big up LC and Eric Fontaine just switching to my computer. Can't see it. nobody from myself. Okay, Marcus. Darian Davis was good. How do you feel about the offensive line now? Um, I feel like it's not going to be as bad as people think, especially if we were to bring in Jason Peters. But I definitely feel like we should go offensive tackle first round next season, no matter what pick we have, unless there's just this some can't miss guy. Like, you just got to take this guy. Like, the world's greatest wide receiver ever. A hey, 114 people in the live. Everyone like this stream. Let them know, being made to go, man. Appreciate that. Are you going to cop the new Halo later this year? Of course. That's the reason I'm staying on Xbox. A lot of my friends are trying to get me to switch to PlayStation. I'm never leaving Xbox. And, and Halo's mostly because of it. The second, well, no, really the biggest reason is the party chat. Then the second biggest reason is Halo. If you, if you, Xbox, you got to be playing the left for days. We got to. We used to get so buzzed and play it for hours. Tons of laughs. <laughs> I played the demo and I had a lot of fun, but I've never owned Left 4 Dead. State of Decay was really fun, though. That was a really, that was a really fun uh, zombie game. Sleeper tight end. Amon Wagner, too. All right, let me write that down, Andre Hunter. And thank you for the $2, man. Appreciate that, Andre Hunter, man. Really, really appreciate that. Yes, sir. Much, much appreciated, man. Appreciate those donations. Those go a long way. Let me see. Let me copy and paste that, though, so I can check them out. I'll be getting at least 40 on Call of Duty Mobile, bro. I just play rank now. It's too easy. <laughs> I've never tried Call of Duty Mobile. I've heard it's fun. i just never been a phone game person, except for, like, I guess back in Nintendo DS days, playing Mario um, Kart with everybody. Back when I used to like take trips with with band and stuff, we used to play Mark. That used to be really fun. Other than that, um, really the only phone I, game I played on my phone, even like a little bit, was um, twenty forty seven when I used to be bored on those trains in New York, be on the train for like two hours, got to do something. And also those little uh, those game, what is it Rios, whatever ROMs, those ROMs like Pokemon. Like I had Pokemon Emerald on my phone or whatever. I used to play that quite a bit, but other than that, I never really super duper been a phone game person. Super console. Chase Young is going to transform the defense to a top five to ten defense twenty twenty. What you think about KJ Hill to get Haskins in day three of the draft? Um, I do like KJ Hill, but I don't like him before the sixth round. In my for me, it's either sixth round or seventh round for him. But I do like him. Basically, Terry McLaurin, but slower. 
Uh, Seth Marcus, I know. Look what Nick did for the 49ers defense. Took him to the next level. I agree. To me, I, I don't think Dak wants to be in Dallas. Yo, Dak wants to be in Dallas. I was confused. I was like, I got to figure out what he meant. Uh, Yeah, I, no, I think he's just taxing. I think he does want to be there, but I think he's just like, where what they going to do without me? If I hold out, what they going to do? Ben Barch, Matt, per Alex Taylor, Jack Driscoll, all sleeper tackles, bad spelling. <laughs> Now, I do like, uh, I know, I don't exactly know Ben Barge, but I've heard about Matt Pert, and I do like Alex Taylor and Jack, Dres Dr Jack Driscoll. Now, I feel like they're not as good as Sadiq Charles, and I feel like Sadiq Charles isn't as good as the top four guys with Makai Beckton, Andrew Thomas, Tristan Wirfs, and Jedrick Wills, but they are pretty good um, uh, tackles. Ez Ezra uh, Washington is pretty good, too. I mean, Ezra Cleveland. I say Washington. I agree. Dak, that is. Everything is virtual. No fans will be at the stadium. That would be crazy. Catch you on the draft day, brother Rico. Stay safe, brother. Man, appreciate that, James. I'm actually about to end the stream soon. It's almost 4 p.m., so just on time. Just in time. I guess we're not. We're done talking football. God bless. <laughs> I got my lucky shirt ready for the IB not nizzle ready for the draft. Will you be live draft now? Yes, sir. I'm live streaming at least at the very minimum. Rounds one through five, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I'm live streaming through all of those. I hope Cam Sims and Kelvin Harmon step it up. I do too, man. Miami made sports an essential service. Really? They did? Chase will be better than Von Miller, Khalil Mack, Miles Garrett, Davion Clowney, and both the Boses. Don't add me. Hey, man, I agree. I wouldn't be surprised. Bro, I dropped my thing Xbox, so I'm on the mobile right now. Bro, go, go get you an Xbox, man. You can probably get one for cheap. Especially since the new one about to come out soon. I don't know what I would do without my Xbox, me personally. I just couldn't, man. I grew up on Xbox. I've been on Xbox Live with a party chat since, like, 8th grade. I don't even know what life is, really, without a big party chat. We've always been at least 8 deep. Now we're, like, 16 to 20. If you could only pick one Redskins for your fantasy football team, who would you pick? Uh, I think I'm going to go Terry McLaurin. If fully healthy, Bryce Love and Darius Geis. But if I had to put my money on one guy right now, it would probably be Terry McLaurin. Xbox sucks, bro. Sony all the way. I'll take a Wii first. Oh, y'all tripping. Xbox is great, bro. The best party chats. Y'all can't tell me. The only things I like other than my family and friends are the Redskins and Xbox. Let them know, BMA. Can't wait till Thursday, even though it'll be so weird not seeing players walking across the stage. That's going to be really weird. I'm really interested in seeing how this is going to look. Terry will have 1,300 plus this year. He got some strong hands and will, well, a couple of times he got murked and slammed, still caught him. Oh, yeah, bro. Terry McLaurin focus is crazy. His concentration, bro. He does not, he had a couple of easy drops. Other than that, that man is ridiculous. All right, I'll see you in the draft heading now. All right, Dave, make sure you pull up Tuesday also for the live mock draft I'm doing with everybody. I'll be so happy if Dak pulls a trend on the cow. That would be hilarious. McLaurin is Cooper without the dropsies, basically. Yeah, I'm about to when I get that stimulus, yo. Which Xbox you using? Um, I have just the regular Xbox One, the, uh, the Advanced Warfare Edition. So I have one of the first. First one's from a while ago. Nick Flair already wait for years. Oh, yeah. It's all, yeah, it's all the way, bro. Terry McLaurin about to be that dude for real. Did you see Chase Young ESPN interview when he talked about him covering running backs and dropping in the zone? Yeah, I heard that. He was basically just up in his uh, draft stock, making sure he gets taken second. Even though I'm pretty sure he knows he can take second. But I think because they, they asked him to compare himself to, like, the Boses. And basically, he was like, I can do what they do, but I can also cover well, too. Which is true. Did we make a bad move signing Collins? Um, I don't like how much money we got him for, but I think he's going to be really productive, especially under Jack Del Rio. I've only played PlayStation, grew up on PlayStation. I did until Halo. I was PlayStation the whole way. I mean, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, NFL Street 1 and 2, um, NBA Ballers. I even had the Shrek game for some reason. Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, Kingdom Hearts all the way. Kingdom Hearts were the games I super played. NFL Street and Kingdom Hearts were the games I played the most. But then when Halo 2 came out, I mean, when Halo 3 came out, I finally went and actually got, ended up getting the Xbox. 
And um, and that's when I officially started playing online. Because at school, we had like an after school program. So I was always playing Halo 2 at school. And then I started playing a little bit online. But then once the Xbox 360 came out, that's when I like really, really was super into Xbox and Xbox Live and all of that. And I was playing Halo 3 and Lost Planet like crazy. Uh, how are we going to boo the commissioner now? That's a good point. How are we going to boo the commissioner over stream? It's just going to be a whole bunch of thumbs down in the chat. Just a whole bunch of thumbs down getting spammed. And that's a really good point, though. Yeah, I agree, Mark. <laughs> I think Matt Knight is the most underrated defense alignment in the league. I kind of agree, bro. He can end up being really good. We should get Ashton Davis in the third round. Mega still is fast. What's up, Ty Ward? I always recognize that, that profile picture. I still don't know what that is. It looks like a, a deer, a human deer or some more wolf or I don't know what's going on. Um, So I'm writing that down. Writing that down. I'm writing down Ashton Davis. I like that Davis versus Davis rivalry. Your computer is doing the red ring of death on you. Basically, boy, Xbox red ring used to be terrible. That was terrible. I can admit, that used to be terrible. Chase Young said it would be an honor to play for his hometown Redskins. Oh, yeah, he can't wait. And a disappearing act at Cooper um, Pools. <laughs> Enrico, I bought the Assassin's Creed edition. Oh, so your Xbox probably looks even better than mine's. I don't even know what that Assassin's Creed Xbox looks like, and it sounds beautiful. PSP was way ahead of its time. Oh, yeah, it super was. PSP was ridiculous. I used to play uh, whichever NBA Live that was with Gilbert Arenas on the cover. I played Burnout. Uh, dang. It was Need, no, Need for Speed Carbon. What other games I had? I had some random games on it. I used to love my PSP. We definitely overpaid for Collins with his average cover skills, but glad to have him with Del Rio. Going to be an all-pro year watch. I completely agree. We overplayed for him, overpaid for him, but I feel like he's going to be ridiculously good. Me and my buddy had an argument. He says Giants fan. I said Terry McLaurin is better than every receiver on their roster. Oh, he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, you're definitely right. That's no bias, too. That guy they drafted last year is pretty good, but nah, Terry McLaurin is different. Serious question, Rico. How many wins total this year? I'm thinking six. Yeah, you're right around my area. I'm thinking six also. I'm thinking six and ten. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up going 11 and five because, like I said earlier, we've always we've always had talent. We've just been good coaching away from being a really good team. And we're about to add Chase Young. So, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up winning the division. But me personally, I feel like it's going to be six just mostly off of the fact that Ron Rivera said has basically, like, shown – that we're literally focused on 2021 and beyond. 2020 is going to be a trial run. But we actually aren't booing our organization. Actually, aren't we booing our organization? Well, not really anymore. There's no more Bruce Allen. Terry, way better than anyone on the, on the Giants. Sims is probably going to be better, too. Let him know. That's actually pretty Yo, Steven Sims is different. What's good, Shaman? Giants talk so much trash when they're just as big. <laughs> NFL Christmas almost here. Yes, sir. What's good, Tommy T? Yes, sir. That draft is almost here. My favorite part of the year, really. Collins about to go back to his 2016 self. I agree. Greg Minuski made everybody worse. So Landon Collins was like a Pro Bowl altern alternate with Greg Minuski. So defense can win games. I agree. David Ball and Rico, can you do a live shot of Brody for the kids? Thanks, bro. I got you. Hold on. Where are you, Brody? I'm sorry I got to disturb you. You probably sleep. I'm sorry. Come here. I'm sorry. And my boy asked to see you. Come here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. You asleep. Dry nose and all. Dry nose and all. Come on, bro. Hold on. Dang it. I got you knocking over stuff. You kind of bigger than I always remember. All right. There we go. All right. I got him. I got the Brody with me. He's uncomfortable. He hates getting picked up. He loves being a baby and being, you know, in your lap and stuff, but he hey, he's super uncomfortable getting picked up. Uh, what's up? What's up, Tone? Was good. Another serious question: Is Brody gonna have a have to talk you down if we don't draft Chase? Yeah, somebody's gonna have to. I'm gonna be sick. No cap, Landon Collins really not that good. Not hating. I really like Landon Collins, especially the way Jack the Real is gonna use him. He's basically gonna be T.J. Ward back in Denver. Um. What's to call it? So I feel like he's going to be great. Greg Minuski's not going to ask him to do a lot of covering because he's not good in coverage. Well, yeah, that's definitely true. Rico, my sons be playing Call of Duty now online. That jazz be hilarious. You said that jazz? Rico, my sons be playing Call of Duty now online. Wait, what's that jazz? Wait, I'm lost. What's up, AM Hunter also? I'm lost. Wait, what's that jazz? What's up, Rico? Big respect from D.C. What's up, Kurt? Appreciate that. 
Appreciate you. Appreciate you pulling up. David Ball, when kids say thanks, homie. Yes, sir, man. You're welcome. Thanks for asking for my Brody. This is my boy. Um, we were we were top 10 in sacks with 48. Man, I night had eight. How many sacks were Del Rio controlling the defense? As long as the defense is 55 plus. What's up, Charles Thompson? I kind of, bro, our, yo, we're going to be getting super pressure, especially in the NFC East, bro. It's going to be crazy. Said no cursing. We should win about seven to eight games at least. I think we can be 11 and six with a good defense. Yeah, I wouldn't be, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised because the talent is there. All right, buddy, I'll let you go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here you go. Here you go. I'm not taking you back over there, though. You got to do that yourself. Uh, I'm sorry, bro. Oh, look at him. Now he wants attention. Um, are you confident we taking Chase Young? I'm very confident. I'm like somewhere in the 90%. I'm not going to say it's 100% true because you never know. But it's definitely in the 90s. AP said he wants to play to a 40. Our boy. Running back is like the last position you can play to a 40 doing. But you never know, man. He is built different. Still only 14 likes over 100 people on. Let him know, her. Let him know. Rico, where you from? Where you from, bro? You in the DMV? No, I'm in Atlanta, sir. I am in Atlanta, my good sir. I was born in Maryland. Largo, Mitchellville, or whatever. My, my, I need help. I always forget. But uh, I live in Atlanta. I consider myself from Atlanta. But, you know, Maryland, you know, Maryland's home, too. Still got a lot of family there. My mom and all of them are super DMV. They super use the slang and everything. Bama, sl Bama Slim, all of that type of stuff. Uh, but when I, as soon as I can, I'm moving back to New York. That's my favorite city to live in. But I don't claim New York, though. I claim Atlanta, but Maryland's always going to be my second home. Just off of the fact that, you know, my favorite sports team is from there anyway, and all of my family and stuff. So I want payback for the body bag game, and Chase will help us. Please Google it, Redskins body bag game. Like, what's the body bag game? Let me. Okay, I got you. I'm going to write that down. I got you as soon as I end this stream. The body bag game. Why y'all hate the Giants? <laughs> I don't hate the Giants anywhere near as much. Like It's the Cowboys who I hate the most, and it's not even close. I hate the Cowboys and Falcons more than any other team in the league. I really don't even hate the Eagles or Giants. Of course, I don't like them because they're division opponents, but it, it's, it's Falcons and Cowboys for me. And then I guess kind of the Patriots because just it, they're just annoying. Yeah, four days, Wolf. Yes, sir. Riggins retired at 42. Yeah, that is ridiculous. I'm low-key scared of Simmons. Hope the Giants take Tristan. I think the uh, Giants will end up taking Jedrick Wills. That's like a real thing. They've like been rumored from several credible sources that they're looking at tackle to uh, build around Daniel Jones, and they're not going Isaiah Simmons, which I'm super glad about. I was like, whoo, thank goodness, because I don't feel like dealing with him. We better take Chase Young, otherwise a lot of brothers going to break quarantine. <laughs> Bro, we better take Chase Young. Uh, Carl Ryan, he, Carl Ryan, he's going to have 11, 15 sacks because it's a lot of good to great defense alignment. Yes, sir, bro. It's going to be crazy. Appreciate that $2, Eric, man. Really appreciate that, man. You're a real one. You're a real one, real one, man. Appreciate that. How's the highest, how's the, ne how the high, next highest paid running back in the league? But who? Or who? Who or how? Hopefully, guys can give us 14 games this year. It'll be lovely. It'll be lovely. Born in Landover, lived in Mitchellville until he moved to Atlanta for sixth grade year. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Rico skip my question. How many sacks for Chase this year? Oh, my fault. I missed it. I'm thinking 11 to 12. Oh, I answered that earlier. I think two people asked previously. I'm thinking somewhere in the third, somewhere around 13, give a sack or two. I mean, sack or two, give or take or whatever. I'm like over under 13. That's mine. Well, really over under 12 is more fair. But I'm thinking somewhere in that range, definitely double digits. Chase got two weaknesses I found. He gets tricked or misdirection more times than you would like. And once he come up field, he doesn't go back downhill to pursue the ball carry. Look into that. I've seen him chase people down. I mean, he might not do it every time, but I, I've seen so many great players in college just be like, man, I ain't even got to really try this hard all the time. And they get to the NFL and actually apply themselves because now they're getting paid to. But a lot of people in college just don't even feel like putting forth all that extra 120% effort because just what is it for, honestly? But I've seen I've seen plays of him chasing people down. I mean, I've seen plays of him, you know, taking plays off too once the ball was past him. But I've seen him hunt people down from behind. Uh, 
a few times. And then this direction, I mean, yeah, I mean, but there's nobody really just legendarily smart at edge rush that is really good with that. I mean, everybody gets got. I think he's pretty good edge rusher wise when it comes to being able to, you know, read misdirections and stuff. But yeah, I mean, of course it's still a weakness. But that's just like a that's just an edge rusher weakness in general, in my opinion. Really. Cowboys and Eagles. 14 gonna be a stretch. I pray for just 10. Nah, I think he's gonna be really good, man. I think Chase Young is coming out blazing. Defensive rookie of the year easily. If Nick Bosa can do it, and I believe Chase Young will definitely be better than him. I don't see why not. Brian and he's healthier, so should he should play a full 16 games. And if he gets at least one sack a game, that's 16. Brian Mitchell played QB in the body bag game since they heard all the QBs active on the roster. Ah, dang. That's terrible. <laughs> My boy B. Mitch was playing QB. I hate the Cowboys and Patriots more than any other team. I'm Cowboys and Falcons. Patriots are like a distant third. And then it might be, the, I guess, the Eagles and the uh, Giants. But I don't really hate the Eagles and the Giants like that. I still say get TL if he's available in the third. Is it good? People get hurt. Get Chase and TL, and you can have the best pass rush for the next one. I can cover for three. I see what you're saying, but I just feel like value-wise, I prefer to go tight end and wide receiver. Who's the next highest paid running back? Who after who? Ezekiel Elliott or Ty Gurley? Who you talk? Oh, no, Ty Gurley's on a one-year cheat deal. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I know it's not a Redskins player. I hope Bryce Love and Ruben Foster are going to play this year or never the league going to start back up. I do too, man. Please. And what's up, MRB? What's good? Where do y'all think Cam going to end up? I hope with the Chargers or somebody really good. But what's up, too? I, I just saw you. What's up? I scrolled back up. I hate the Giants because they're comparing DJ to Dwayne all the time. DJ won't. <laughs> yeah, I don't necessarily understand the Daniel Jones hype, but I mean, hey, man. We got a body guy game was against the Skins versus Eagles. So many players were injured in that game. Brian Mitchell had to play quarterback. Yeah, <laughs> bro. I, why do I not remember that? You think Montez Sweat gets double-digit sacks this year? I think he probably can. I think him and Chase Young can. Where do y'all think Cam going to end up? Yeah, I think Cam Newton, I hope, well, I hope he goes somewhere that can win a, he can go to a Super Bowl and get a ring. I want my boy Cam to get at least one ring. We need a Westlake, we need a Westlake guy to get a ring, man. Adam Pacman Jones couldn't do it. So next up is Cam Newton. Who are you targeting in the third round? I prefer Adam Trotman than me personally. That's my favorite third round guy, honestly. We have great depth at D line. Us guys don't need to be running around too long. So Allen, Payne, man, nice to settle is great. I agree. We already have a deep rotation. Plus, don't forget Ryan Anderson, Jordan Brailford, uh, Nate Orchard. You say you lagging? Like okay. Can we just can we just tackle this year, please? <laughs> yeah, bro. Them missed easy tackles are frustrating, bro. We were talking about Darius Geis if we could get 14 games from him this year. Oh, okay, bro, I would love to get 14 from Darius Geis. Please, please. Do you think Christian McCaffrey's overpaid? Um, I'm personally not a fan of paying running backs that much money. I'm kind of like a lot of these uh, NFL teams. So by default, I think he is. But I think he is a really good running back, though. Chase should wear Dexter Manley 72. That sounds like an offensive lineman to me, though. That's the only problem I have with it. I prefer for him to be 92. Or just be two. I, me personally, I think it just looks better, sound better. Um, I think Chase Claypool is available. We should take him. Yeah, Chase Claypool is great too, though. I don't think he's gonna make it to the third round now. Do you think we're gonna draft KJ Hill? I don't know. We might. They might. Dwayne Haskins' recommendation. We might. You know what I'm saying? Might find a way. Am Trotman gonna be a beast? I agree. Trotman ain't going to be there by round three, round three. I think he could. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that like Harrison uh, the Harrison guy, Albert O, Cole Komet more and stuff like that. You never know. He might for real make it. My friend took common OBJ over Randy Moss and Superstar KO. Oh, you got hated on. Wait, they have an OBJ card in Superstar KO now? When did that happen? I haven't played in weeks, but dang. There's a common OBJ they need to bring back that uh, Superstar KO where they had six players off rip and then you add more and you end up with nine. And we still owe the Giants for what they did to Joey, what they did Joey T. <laughs> Can we get off the field on third downs this year, please? <laughs> That's also another problem. Del Rio ain't having the missed tackles this year. Oh, yeah, we not. 
But I love to see him in burgundy and gold. Yeah, I would love to see Adam Trotman, man. I love Adam Trotman, but if Michael Pittman is on the board, it's a no-brainer. He's going to be most underrated in the class. See, bro, everybody has their own receivers. It's crazy. Some people love Denzel Mims. Some people love Antonio Gandy golden Justin Jefferson, Van Jefferson. I mean, it's just so many guys. I just can't wait to see which one we end up taking so I can super-duper study his film. Because I've been looking at people's film, but I'm not about to sit here and get attached to every receiver for us to only take one or two. So as soon as the draft is done, I'm a super study whoever you would get. Why do people compare Dwayne Haskins to Daniel Jones? Literally only because they went in the same draft, the same round. Yeah, that's literally it, same draft. Thank you, Nick Flair. Uh, I want Chase to wear 292 or 99. I completely agree. I think I like 92 the most, number two second, and 99 the third most. Rico, are you live streaming the draft? Yes, sir. Rounds one through five at minimum. So I'm definitely live streaming Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. At least rounds one through five. We'll see how rounds six and seven are going. Chase could rock 95 too. 95 wouldn't be that bad. I kind of I can dig that too. McCaffrey is going to earn that contract this year with no cam. I like Bridgewater, but McCaffrey is all they really, really have. Yeah, well, yeah, he they they gonna oh, they gonna use that man. He gonna earn that money. Yeah. <clears throat> you think not having a second round pick gonna hurt us? Nah, not too bad. I really love Montez Sweat, so I'm excited. I'm glad we have him. If Dwayne has a bad year and we have the one pick, do we draft Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields? Me, personally, I prefer Trevor Lawrence, but we'll see how much progress Justin Fields makes because he's clearly more athletic than Trevor Lawrence, even though Trevor Lawrence is very sneaky, has very sneaky athleticism. But if Justin Fields can learn the actual quarterback position better from the pocket, then his potential is higher than Trevor Lawrence. But Trevor Lawrence is going to be crazy. Saquon is going to be the next highest paid running back. Oh, you are not lying. You are not lying about that. I didn't even think about that. Saquon about to get that bag from the Giants. Thanks, Rico. Have a good one, bro. All right, Michael. All right, I was supposed to end the stream at 4, but, you know, I just hate to not, you know, reply to anybody that says anything. So I'm about to end the live stream soon. I'll definitely catch y'all next time. I will be live streaming Tuesday, live mock draft with y'all, where I'm, you know, we're going to make the picks together. I'm going to be looking in the chat. Just like I'm doing now, we're going to pick guys together. So we're going to go pick by pick. I guess we could do like the first round, probably. Dwayne needs two years to develop. I don't feel like it's that bad. I feel like technically this next year is his rookie season because they didn't even try with him last year at all. And I just don't really see why this Dwayne, where this Dwayne Haskins develop things comes from because he played one year in college, 50 touchdowns. And then when we finally threw him out there, you saw in that Giants game he started to heat up. I don't think he's that much of a developmental project like everybody says. I, I don't see it, me personally. See you Tuesday. All right, that boy that boy Lee Barnes dropped a huge check today, man. Got to, I had to give him the blue letters and the wrench. Appreciate you, Rico. I appreciate you pulling up, Kurt Smith. Appreciate you, Lee Barnes. Yes, sir. Hello, what's up, bro? I missed it. I'll catch you next time. Hell to the boy. That boy David Smith pulled up with the shot clock buzzer beater, boy. <laughs> I like the Redskins fans, but I hate the Cowboys and Eagles more than the Redskins. I appreciate that, Shamar. I appreciate that. <laughs> I re bro, the only teams I like literally just hate are the Cowboys, Falcons, and kind of the Patriots. My hate for the Falcons has been dying over the years, but during high school, there were times I hated the Falcons more than the Cowboys. Hated the Falcons, boy. And then they had the nerve to be sorry while they was talking trash. Well, good luck to Saquon against us this year. The defense is going to eat him alive. Now, he'll be good by game 10. He'll really be shining. Uh, he's head to the Redskins. Do Brody have any skins gear? Yes, he actually does. His collar is uh, back there somewhere. I have a little, like, Redskins collar for him. It's like a little, it looks like a bandana around him. All right, Rico, see you next time. Appreciate you pulling up, Jones, Mr. Jones. And they need to get off our boy Haskins. They do, bro, David Smith. I agree. I don't know why they're on his head, but thank goodness that he, like, I'm so glad he has the personality to where he just doesn't care. It just motivates him. Mother kids, they better take a wide receiver at least by round four or tight end, or else that would be a sad moment going into the fifth for me. Yeah, that would be weird if we didn't at least take a tight end or a wide receiver by then. The Falcons suck. Oh, yeah, the Falcons, yeah, bye. <laughs> Poor babies. See you Tuesday. All right, Patrick West. Brody has a jersey, too. Oh, yeah, Ma, we got to clean that jersey. All right, right, bro. All right, David Smith. Appreciate that. Will Snyder stay out of it? I'm assuming he will. They're hating on Haskins really bad. Yeah, but at least he has the uh, 
Ooh, Georgia just got to commit. Okay, let me go look up who he is. Yes, sir. My boy, Elijah Judy. Hold on, hold on. Four-star defensive end. Okay. Okay, Georgia. All right. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure has, um, Snyder's going to stay out of it. I'm so glad the Haskins just doesn't let the hate get to him. I'm super glad about that. I hate the Falcons for blowing a 28-3 lead. Yeah, I was mad about that, too. As much as I hated the Falcons, I was rooting against the Patriots more. I was rooting against both of them, but I just wanted my city to be happy. So at the end of the day, I was like, if the Falcons win, at least Atlanta's having fun. But then they folded. Your live streams have just been reclassified as essential. <laughs> I appreciate that, B9 Nizzle. I appreciate that. I'm streaming every Sunday. Period, really. I was gonna say the rest of the off season, but I'm I mean I live stream during I live stream during games too, if y'all weren't here for that during the regular season. So always live streaming. You see the Falcons new FUBU looking uniforms? Yeah, it looked <laughs> them things kinda soggy. Them uniforms are kinda soggy. They got hated on. They do look like FUBU. He will show <laughs> he said FUBU. He will show them this year. I can't wait. Oh yeah, he definitely will. Rico, you watch any other streams, Pedro, too much? I try to pull up to everybody's videos just to show them love, like, like it. But I'm not really on a – I'm not a YouTube type of person, like, watching-wise. I really – I'm really not on YouTube watching stuff. If anything, I'm watching, like, 85 South, 85 South show, like, comedy stuff. But I don't really watch football stuff on YouTube. I have Twitter for my information. And then I have NFL Game Pass to watch it. But I don't really, like, watch people's videos. I pull up. When I see they put a video, I'll pull up like it might leave a comment just to support but i'm not really a youtube guy i mean i watch corey x i watch corey x kenshin videos with my friends on the rave app we all watch it together but i i'm not, I'm not really just on youtube myself like i just don't really get on youtube like that i youtube mostly for the most part is a is a music downloader for me i go to youtube the mp3.com or whatever websites those are and that's where i get most of my music our old line was trash, but Haskins get all the BSs beyond me. It's, it takes a team, not just one player. I agree. Yo, how about them skins? Let's yeah, let them know, Lamont. I'm about to dip though. I'm about to get up out of here. The best streamer out there, man. Appreciate that, hurt. Hell to the Redskins. Appreciate that, LC. I like y'all, but Saquon Barkley gonna go crazy on the Redskins. No beef. <laughs> Talk your stuff, Shamar. You a Giants fan, but I like the fact that you in here swinging in the middle of the crowd. I respect it. You and Oliver, my only two skin channels, but I can't deal with the other skins YouTube. Listen, bro, y'all got you gotta rock with my boy Pedro, my boy Skins fan all day. My boy, um, what's it called it? Big Simple, you know what I'm saying? Those are my boys. Check them out too. But yeah. I appreciate that though. I do really appreciate that. Giants are definitely gonna take tackle. I heard they fans hoping Chase fall to them like we really gonna go to it. Oh, you know, it's almost confirmed we're taking Chase Young. And it's very likely they're taking tackle over Isaiah Simmons. How many games will we realistically win? Like I said earlier, I think we're going six. But I wouldn't be surprised if we end up winning the division because we've always had talent. We've just been like a good coach in a way. Saquon going to get smashed. Saquon not having a field day on us with Del Rio. Great stream. Have a great day. Hell to the Redskins. Appreciate that, Franco. All right, y'all. I will catch y'all Tuesday when we do a live mock draft together. Um, and then, of course, I'm live streaming all three days for the draft. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Round one. Then rounds two and three. Then at the very minimum, rounds four and five on Sunday. But we'll see when we, I mean, on Saturday. We'll see when we get there, though, if I'm going to do rounds six and seven. Haskins played 1.5 seasons since high school, and they disrespectful. It's a hard position. It takes time. Exactly. See you then. All right, y'all, man. I appreciate y'all pulling up, man. Real Y'all some real ones, especially for the donations. I appreciate everybody. K Rico, be safe, fam. Dolphins will not draft tour. You all heard it here. MP said it. Peace, fellas. Oh, yeah, I've heard the, the Dolphins might go Justin Herbert or wait till next year. I listen to you, Louis T, and Ed Oliver. I appreciate that, Tonse. Appreciate that. Uh, oh, Tonse, Tony C. Oh, I'm not exactly trying to say that, but, yeah, I appreciate that, man. All right, for the, I'll catch y'all later. Trying to make sure I reply to everybody. Catch y'all Tuesday and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I guess I won't live stream Sunday. Maybe I'll see since I'll be live streaming all week. We'll see. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all coming, man. It didn't end the stream. Hold on. 
अंतर 